Oh, hey. Hi, guys. Good morning. For some reason, you didn't show up in the stream chat for a few minutes, so we were just vibing. How's it going? Let me make sure that that's working properly. I think um, you. I think we're on a different chat. We might be on a different chat. Sorry, I fix it. Behold, let me fix it. Oh, there they are. There they are. Here they are. Thank you. Hi, good morning. How's it going? Big girl, thank Big you. Big girl. There they all are. There they all are. I was, I was vibing, thinking that we were that no Just one was alone. there. Yeah, we're alone <laughs> all, here. all alone. <laughs> I feel like this is like me just walking in on a crime scene. I'm like, <gasps> I would never do anything to hurt Sonic Worm. I I wouldn't. I couldn't save him. I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> nice try. I couldn't if I tried. No. He is a god. What? what? That's not. That's lore. I wasn't aware of. <laughs> he is a god. I, I. I. That's. I didn't know. Good morning, Martina. Hey, Martina. Yeah. Dance, Sonic Worm. Whoa! He's so good! He's so good at dancing! Look at him go! He's got that centrifugal uh, dance move. <laughs> <laughs> the centrifugal slide. Slide, I can't speak. Yo! Pink and Sam, thank you so much! Thank you for the subby. Excelsior. Excelsior. Let's get rid of this little That's guy. That's a fake. That's a fake That's one. Fake. I recognize the name that you gave your little coded cats. Yeah. Hop. You ready? Yeah. Bam. No! Why did I put, why did, did he go in the hole? Oh, this is just a bomb. That's, <laughs> that's not Sonic Worm. I don't know where Sonic Worm's went. Let go of it. Ha ha! <laughs> Wait, he's in there. I saw him. There you are. Tried to hide from me. Whoa, 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 whoa. India, did you see the Kezu sleeping bag? I did. I saw it just a few minutes ago. It's so good. It's so good. Oz has found a Kezu sleeping bag. Kezu was a monster from Monster Hunter. A Kezu is my favorite monster. And you can get a sleeping bag that's shaped like a Kezu and you sleep inside it. It's foul. You mean it's incredible, right? That's what you meant to say. I'm sure you misspoke. Looking very fancy, dog. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Always here to give the compliments. Ha ha. Oh ho. Hee hee. Yee ho. Oh, there it is. There it is. You stay in this box, Sonic Worm, where you'll be safe. He cannot be controlled. Something strange is with my movement. I reset. Ta-da! 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 Ta Look! Look, it's like they're related. It's just like uncle and nephew. Aww. Uncle and nephew. I don't want to see the family tree. Maybe one day you will be forced to see it because maybe one day I'll draw it. Draw the family tree. <laughs> Go for it. Isn't it great? You can lie inside it. It's worms all the way down. Imagine if someone came over to stay at our apartment and we were like, here's the futon and here's your Kezu sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> the Kezu sleeping hammock. It's pretty good, right? Don't mind that it's stuck to the walls and it feels slightly goopy. Yeah. Don't mind it dealing electric damage to you every couple of minutes. <laughs> it's got an electric <laughs> blanket in there. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, don't worry. It's fine. You don't know which end to get in? Either works. Oh, that oh, jelly cat's cat excited. Likes it. Yeah, yeah, it likes it a lot. Hell yeah, jelly cat. It's trying to get in there. It's a picture. You can't get in. I've seen tortoises do this. Tortoises? Yeah, I saw a video. I see videos, guys. I don't and believe you. The guy keeps putting like different colored tape on his shoes. And if it's, if it's, um, I think if it's a dark, a dark shade, um, the tortoise headbutts it, and if it's a lighter shade, the, the tortoise walks around it. Interesting. 
I wonder, I wonder why that tortoise is obeying the rules like that. No idea. Tortoises are famous of being rule breakers. I don't know if it just <laughs> sees like, it thinks the shoe is another tortoise. I don't know, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this jelly cat. It's okay. Sonic Worm? Sonic Worm, you're all right. Don't I, saved, I, I saved him. Yeah, you did, did you? You weren't gonna do anything mean to him at all. No. Okay. That's what I like to hear. Wee! <laughs> Woohoo! That's my boy. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> you let him fall! <laughs> it's just like that meme of the dad jumping with his kids. And his kids are like, ah! In the background. He's fine. He has a lot of padding. He's all fat. Do it again. Do it again. You're, yeah. you're there waiting for me. Yeah. No, no. I'm just, I'm just gonna sit here with Sonic Worm. We're gonna hang out. It's gonna be fine. What game is this? This is uh, this is something which Doik has built himself. It's our Unity. game. I guess we could call it something. Some people call it Doik Swifting. Some people call it a Vipo. I, I, I think the name of it is Scrungle. Oh, yeah? Well, that's the working title when it boots up. No. No, cat. No. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> Such bullies. He might be wearing that cat. I think he, hat. Yeah. He, that cat's gone small because that cat is being worn. Yeah. I'm just There's gonna... a few little bugs. This is the, yeah. I'm not very good with AI pathing. You'll, you'll get it. I'll get it soon. Do, do, do. Your internet's not interneting. Oh no, Puro! No. Oh no! Um, how are we doing volume wise? Are we as quiet as we were yesterday? Or are we better today? Ah! What? Okay. He wanted to, he told me. Okay, he whispered it into yeah, your ear. Yeah, he did, he told me. I, uh, I can channel the will of the worm. It sounds good. Okay. Because I did discover yesterday that the um, the power cable was loose uh, on the Procaster and I moved it this morning and it just wouldn't turn on. So it, it could have been that maybe. That sounds likely, doesn't it? Like it just wasn't getting enough power. Yeah. Can you hear the cat? Just go vroom, vroom, vroom in the background. Which one of you is it? It'll be Sparrow, because Kuma's up there. Sparrow! What do you want, little one? Sparrow! Hey, Sparrow. Hey, Sparrow. Did you know one of them threw up on their toy? What toy? You know the, um, the track with the ball in it? The one in the living room. Oh. That's not good. Yeah. I found a hairball with some throw up. Aw. I don't know which kitty it was. Poor kitty. I guess we're in the season for shedding so much. We are. We are. They're shedding like... We could make a bunch of carpets and sell them from how much they're shedding. Yeah. I wonder if Sega would ever be interested in making Sonic Worm plush. <laughs> that would be amazing <laughs> if they were. I'd be so happy. Officially licensed Sonic Worm plush. Officially licensed Sonic Worm. I feel like they're four words that shouldn't go together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jamming to the Sega tunes this morning. Oh, is this Sega? Yeah. Ah. He's going to make it big. He's going to be one big worm. One big worm. So what are you up to today, Doi? Uh, I'm making a poster to announce that we're going to Annecy. I, I'm midway through it, so I'll be tidying up some of the rougher rougher edges on it. Oh yeah, our business class are meant to arrive today. Yeah, between, Fingers crossed. between 12.41 and 1.41. Oh, that's nice and specific. Yeah. I appreciate an hour window for a delivery. Yeah. Normally it's like, it will arrive between 4 a.m. and 2 AM and next no. day, and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. 
Parcel Give you force. three foot Sonic Boom. It would be great, wouldn't it? You could just get like really big long ones. Ones that you could use as door stops. Imagine having a big long Sonic Worm plush. And when you sit on the couch with your friends to watch a movie, you can all have something to hold because it's so long. It could just lie across all of you. I'm imagining the move, but rather than just an arm going around the back of your shoulders, they're it's holding a Sonic, Sonic worm. worm plush. <laughs> Oh, Luma Mariposa says, I'm never awake when you're alive, but I need to tell you both that I adore each and every video I see on TikTok. Call out of my doom scrolling. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's really sweet. Thanks. I'm really happy you like them. No one makes it past the Sonic Worm short. That's, that's Doug's theory. That's, that's, I've got factual proof. That's the numbers theory. do, like... They just abruptly end at that one. I think everybody does that that part where he's like, I'm a friend and just go, well, I'm done for today. Yeah, nope, I'm nope. leaving. That's it. I'm, I didn't think I was going to catch demons on here. I've seen enough of, of TikTok today. <laughs> you got to listen to Spotify for real now. Bye. Have a good Spotify listen. Wait, actually, I have a question. Yeah. For Spotify users here. I need to ask something to all the people who listen to Spotify and use it, okay? So I have a playlist that I've made on Spotify that I want to listen to. And when it gets to the end of the playlist, it just goes on to recommended videos. Yeah. That it thinks are like the playlist. I can't find how to restart the playlist. Oh. Every time I press pause and, and start again, it just goes back to the recommended. Hit the top button. What does the button look like? What does it say? Hit the loop button. There are button. lots of... The loop button. I've got a shuffle button on. Hit the loop button and shuffle. Loop the playlist. Loop the playlist. There's a loop button. Okay, I'll look for it. Thank you. Cool. So we got we got a question in here that I'm going to read out. That, okay. Um, I thought you didn't want to answer questions. Well, this one's in chat right now. Go for it. Um, have you seen the new generative AI animation tool called Toon Crafter? You give it two frames and it interpolates an animation between them. It's kind of scary as someone mm -hmm. that's just starting with animation. I don't know whether to <laughs> stick to traditional or move with the new. Uh, well, you won't be able to learn animation very well if the computer's doing it for you. So I'd say continue to learn animation. That tool sounds icky as heck. You're going to not be able to control your in-betweens with it very well. Like the whole point of animation is getting to control your spacing and making deliberate decisions as an artist to get the feel you want. You don't yeah. want the computer making those decisions for you. Um, you want to put conscious in-betweens in there. That's a lot of what the learning is for animation. Yeah, I, 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 as, as someone said, AI is good to do your dishes and your laundry so that you can create art and make stuff not make art and create stuff so you can do your dishes and laundry yeah i don't want to do my dishes and laundry i want to make cool animations uh, i enjoy the process so keep pursuing what you want to pursue yeah and yeah. don't let ignore ai don't worry about it it's fine yeah <laughs> the people who aren't interested in learning can go and do the ai stuff and the people who are interested in learning can make cool stuff with their hands and their brains Um, listen, all of these models are based on copyright theft and they're going to get legislated up the wazoo and like larger companies aren't going to uh, pursue them if they can't outright own what they're making. So let the dust settle. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter right now, uh -huh. especially if someone is just starting and learning. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it really counts as being an animator if when the technology goes away, you can no longer do it. <laughs> like, as an animator, you can work in whatever program you want, whether it be paper, whether it be on the computer, and you can still make something. If when AI goes away, you can no longer do anything, then have you really learned a skill? Yeah. But yeah, that's that's so my I'll take on it that helps. as an animator. <laughs> As an animator, AI hasn't changed the way I work at all. Uh, I might use AI one day if it's like moral and isn't stealing work and if it's doing jobs that are just time sucks but have no creative input in them. 
but I want to do all the creative stuff myself. That's part of why I became an artist. Yeah, decades ago, like Macromedia Flash had a way to try and interpret, uh, sorry, interpret and interpolate lines from one position to another. They were called uh, shape tweens. That kind of stuff is useful to like reduce the workload, but you got to define what the two start and end points are. Yeah, it takes and then long to define that. Just, it does just fix it, it. <laughs> l later, and you'll find that people that don't understand the fundamentals will be like, "Cool, it moves," but they won't understand whether it moves good yeah, or well or anything like that. They won't understand that it doesn't. <laughs> that they, they won't understand that it looks bad because they don't have the uh, the experience to be able to say, "Oh, that's that's a." bad in between oh no an advert <laughs> stop advert are you ah. advertising a casino to me stop it ah. stop it stop Fucking it ads i know tell me about it sorry everybody there we go the curse of youtube we can't listen we can't watch youtube anymore without turning off our ad there's nowhere blocker. we can listen to music without ads unless we download the music yeah which we can't do legally, so. <laughs> yeah, icky ad. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah. So that's been my opinion on it, and hopefully that helps reassure you. Yeah, don't, don't let it stop you from doing something you want to do, especially if it's something creative, because AI can't recreate that. Like, your intent and your your ideas and what you want to do, that's that's all human. Yeah. yeah. Show me your Annecy poster then. Uh, yeah, if you look, I guess if there's an Elgato layer in- Oh, uh, I see. In OBS. It's all up to me, hold on. Get this. There is an Elgato layer. I turned it on. Ah. It doesn't seem to have done anything. No, okay, so you, you need to do it um, over, like, you need to make sure that the left-hand side, the scenes, you're in, I think, Swift Screen or something like that. Swifty Main or Scene 2? Like or below, Swift Screen? Below the one you're on. Okay. Might be that one. That got an Elgato in there. I do. I turned it on and nothing happened. Okay, hang on. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, chat's up here. There you all are. Look at y'all. Floating around like clouds. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. I'm into it. Has chat not been there the entire time? Chat's been there, right? I, th I don't know. I think so. I don't know. I'm doing great. You, you, you are doing great. Thanks. Maybe you need to restart your Elgato. I did. You did? Yeah. Oh. Well, something happened. Oh, Jasmine says, what, what decides which Animal Crossing character we are? I noticed mine is the same as last stream. Uh, you can you can re-roll. Hey, there you go. Let me put in some controls for you, so you can you can you can change your avatars if you want. So unfortunately, it only lets you choose if you are subbed. That isn't our choice. That's just the way that the chat works. Uh, we would rather have it so anyone can choose. But there you go. So this is how you choose a villager if you have a subscription. You do this. And then you do the name of the villager. If you aren't subbed, then you can re-roll it and it'll give you a random one, but you can do that as many times as you want. So it'll be re-roll villager. Sorry. Thank you, dog. I was about to give you guys the wrong, the wrong command. So there you go. You can do that. Have fun! Get yourself the villager you want. Oh wow, thank you so much for the subscription! What the heck? Blurgs! Thank you! Blurgs! Blurgs! Whoa, there's so much stuff in here, holy shit! A bounty! A veritable bounty. Oh, Gumbo! Here you are, dog. You can have your uh, top hat back. 
You can have some bombo as well. Just for you. Um, num, num, num. Ha! Um, num. Mm -hmm. One day the hat will fit on my head. One day. You can have your guombo, I'll have my tea. It'll all be good. Oh, thank you. Oh, Foxtrot, thank you so much for the subby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hiya. Oh, it is a comic book. A comic book it is. Yo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much. What the heck? Thank you for the gifted subs. Congratulations, Obsidian, Shadow Spectre, Invalid Extrom, uh, Flash 15X, and Couch Animals Live. Thank you so much for the gifted subs, Fox Trots. What the heck? That's so Worm. kind of you. Oh, you got a Sonic Worm. I did. Nice. You won. You got the best thing. Yeah. Over time, I hope to just keep adding more stuff to be in the chest so it's more of a surprise. It's more toys. Yeah. That's why I added the torches in there and stuff like that. Although, I think torches they, don't, uh, they default to like being static when they appear. Yeah, they sure do. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Um, oh, Ran, when you say choose villager, you have to give the villager name afterwards. So after you've written choose villager, leave a gap and then put the villager name and it'll give you the right one. I found the link to like what the villagers names and appearances are, but I've, I've, I'm, brr, I need to find it again. I, I can't, doig, I can't drop the chest. Doig, <laughs> doig, I'm stuck. You can't drop doig, it. Doig, I got my head stuck. Why can't you drop ah, it? I don't know, I can't. I, I just well, can't. I, ca I can't help you. What? What? But, but, but Doi. What did you, how did you do this? Cause I'll I need to be able to figure out the bug. I don't know how I did it. I just picked it up. And then when I tried to throw it away, I couldn't. Okay. Well, you'll, no. need to, you'll need to restart it. Treasure face. Treasure face, yeah. It's my name. They call me treasure face. I can still pick up other things. Yeah. And throw them, but I can't. Ah. So how did you do that? I don't know. Did you, did you drop the chest while yeah, I don't know how, how you've done that. I don't know. <laughs> Help me. Did anyone see what Swifty was doing when that happened? I was just being normal. What buttons did you press? No, I just picked up the pickup button and then the throw button, which is the same button. Well, you must have picked, did you pick it up while it was opened? Uh, yeah, I think. It's fine. I'll just go, I'll just be like this. It's no, <laughs> we start. No, it's fine. It's actually fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, try jumping off the ship. Try jumping off the ship? Yeah, try and point your head downwards and fall off the ship. Try to point my head downwards and yeah. fall off the so the killing floor. the kill floor yeah. face first. Yeah. I might have turned the killing floor off, though. Uh-oh. Let's see. Get down there. Click the left thumbstick in. Ah! I'm going ass first! I'm going ass <laughs> first! <laughs> Help! I think I turned the killing floor it off. It didn't work. No, it didn't. It's fine, I'll just sit like this. Because okay. I kept respawning. Everything's fine. <laughs> well, whenever you want people to see your face again, that's being tracked. Yeah. I mean, like, you've got the power. Okay. Um, I'm going to move Kazu. So this is our announcing that we're going to Annecy uh, Whoa. image. Whoa! Heck yeah. Stoics in making it with his mouth. I told him it was messy and he looked at me like I'd broken his heart. That's fine. This hat's in the way. Can we restart? What's, well, you, you can get on it. It's a feature. What's wrong oh with it? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, hey, good you catch. got a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Nice one. Oh, wow. Pass it over. That was a bad pass. Oh, oh. Oh, well, that's okay. Okay, maybe I'll, maybe I'll give it a little restart. Just a, just a little restart as a treat. You ready? Yeah. Nice. Here we go now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Don't stop addicted to the shindig. You chose Pietro. 
Who is Pietro? I don't know Animal Crossing enough to know. I have no idea. Pietro. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, Are people good with their villages? You guys got some good villages going on? So this is the Annecy poster. Ta -da! Hey, woo! Good job, Doig. I don't know what, what would make it cooler. Hmm. I don't but. think it needs to necessarily be cool. I think you. this is an information post, right? Yeah. I don't think you need the white around the Doig Swift logo. I think putting yellow and white is a graphic design no-no. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Like, it's not helping visibility. It's, it's hindering visibility. I thought it was summery and nice, though. I can make it black, maybe. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be any better. I think maybe just, yeah, maybe just make the text white. Make the text white. Yeah. It sounds like one in the sky. What's he doing up there? What a little rascal. Beater. Beater. Or. Put a little yellow gradient from the bottom. I mean, that is more readable. The dark is more readable. He's flying. Where is he? can't see him. Is this going to be a nightmare? It's probably going to be a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Meh. Nah, it looks kind of like poop water. There's a house? What house? Oh, you mean the, the back oh, of the yeah, ship? Yeah, a little, a little room. Yeah. Yeah, this is where we go to hang. Isn't it, isn't it cool? Don't you love it? I love it. <laughs> there we go. Ha. Uh, yeah. This is, this is where we, this is, there we this go. This is good. This is where we hang out. Yeah, this is when we had like more of a breakfast show thing going on. Yeah. We used to be here all the time. Yeah. And then we went to space and came back and crashed on the deck. And, uh, uh, the ship's been a little bit wonky since then. <laughs> yeah. We used to start in here. Mm -hmm. We could again if you want. I'd love to have the room back. Yeah. You know. I've lost... Even though it's got these weird purple spores in it now. What purple spores? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Ah, yeah. Good old olden times. Before we had to brave the elements. Be out in the windswept deck the whole time. Yeah, there's Stamps, our mail delivery crow. Hey, Stamps. Stamps used to deliver mail for us. Mm -hmm. He's having a break. <laughs> Frenchie says it was fun throwing bombs in the breakfast room with all the food flying around. Yeah, and all the books. I think that got that that got sucked out the window. Mm. As you can see, we don't really have glass in our windows anymore. No. <laughs> you want right. strike for better pay. Okay. There we go. I do think this deck angle is a lot nicer than it used to be. Mm -hmm. It's a nice angle. So, my phone just told us that we need to check fourth wall orders today. Okay. So that reminder is working. That's nice. Ran says it was amazing ping-ponging you two around in that tiny room along with everything else. We'll get it back. It will return. Hey, don't worry. 
You got a question? Why do you send fan art? Oh, you can tweet at us. Uh, we have a Doigs with Twitter account where you can you can tag to send things if you like. Um, yeah, that's that probably that the works. best way. You can also send it directly into the stream if you have a link to the image. You know, it has to be a link to the image file itself. Then yeah. you can throw it into the chat and the mods will check it and then throw it in to the overlay. That's kind of nice. And then we can, we can grab it in here. We can have access to it. Get our little grubby mitts all over it. Ha. Ha, ha. Ha, nice receive. Ha. <laughs> nice serve. Ha. <laughs> all right, high cue. Nice kill. Nice kill. Aha! So which one is this? This is doigswift.com. Here we are. Oh, hey, pal! Oh! The little ghosty with the hat is pal. It's pal, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Again. You know, I can... I'll sit in the hole, and then, it, then, it, then it'll be fine. No one can get me when I'm sitting down. Oh, there he is. There he is. Uh, oh, oh. There, there he is. This is pal. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boil. Three ammo. I don't know what that means. <laughs> boil. 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 Having Kingdom Hearts flashbacks. I'm all angled. There we go. That was a Spongebob reference, is it? Oh, it's cause, it's cause the exclamation point looked like an L. So I thought he said 3AML and I was like, what's AML? It was just an exclamation point that was hard to read. Oh boy, 3AM. Hmm, Fast Shot says it needs copious amounts of hot rod flames. Hmm. What, the poster? Mm hmm Aidoki says, right about now, the pile bro fella, check it out now, the pile bro fella. So I'm using Krita, which I'm not overly familiar with for this. Uh, does anyone use Krita and know how to hue, hue saturation brightness adjust? I don't, I'm sorry. Edit, maybe? I only know how to just draw in it <laughs> and nothing else. Filter, maybe? That might be it. Yeah, I know, Key. Like, Kree is really good, especially for animation. Onsta can attest. I don't know if Onsta is still around, but if she is, uh, we've been doing some animation stuff there in Krita. And it's, it's pretty, it's got a pretty nice interface for animation specifically. Makes it a bit easier than, than things like Clip and Studio. Clip and Studio, Clip and Photoshop. And it's free! Hey, Fluxy! Kuro says I tried setting a German sentence and he got held back. What? I don't know. Did he get auto modded? <laughs> Yeah, fuck it up. No German in this stream. German is banned. <laughs> Yo, thank you for all the follows, guys. You see, you got some jelly cats on here. Tom man. That's awesome. Creezadoid. Full row. I don't know where this little guy went. They, aha! Sit ahead. Thank you. So what's everyone up to today? That's kind of neat. 
like our colors, but yeah, that looks nice. Like subtle. Um, ba 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 ba. Wait, Onsta, when do you hear Germa? Wait, what did I say for you to hear Germa? Who dis? Olaf Oswald, thank you very much. Oh, German? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, you can't hear German without hearing Germa. Oh dear. That's what Germa speaks. Yeah, exactly. German with a J. I think I'm about done, if unless you have any critiques. No, I think this looks good. Yeah. Kaz says, finishing my nephew's Slipknot boiler suit for his third birthday. I'm so proud. That's awesome. <laughs> Holy shit. That's so cool. <laughs> Reggie says, I've been catching up on Dimension 20 Fantasy High while working. Oh, Ooh, nice. Which season? We need to do that. We only that. know the first one. Well, I only know the first one. Yeah, we've only listened to the first one together. We need to listen to Sofa more. Yeah. Well, are you going to post it? Am I going to post it right now? Yeah. I guess I could. Why not, right? I guess I could. You should. You should throw it up there on the internet for all to see. All right. Also, the earlier people know that we're going. Yeah, you're right. The, the more time people have to know we're going. <laughs> so let's see what the image size is. Giggle says chilling and playing little kitty big city because heck yeah oh yeah that's the game where you get to be a cat that seems fine Kaz says Andy's little metal band t-shirts that's so cute help that's adorable Gidgard says game of the year Alistair inspired me oh Alistair did you have fun being a, being a little kitty in the big city Frenchie says, I've just finished Sofa Moss, so it's still a long way for me, lol. Well, we haven't even started Sofa Moss, so <laughs> there's, a, there's a long, long way for us, too. I just saw that they dropped a trailer, Dimension 20 did, for the next series that they're doing <laughs> on YouTube. And oh. I'm like, damn, we really need to... Oh, it looks good. Yeah, but it's like the last time they dropped a trailer and we're like, oh, we're dropping a new series and it's it's a it's it's a fancy high one Doug and I were like we've got to watch through so we can get to it and it's like they're already doing a new one yeah Doug and I haven't called up yet Dropout really have been popping off recently they're so good we watched some um Game Changer yeah the other day it yeah. was so funny oh. oh my gosh oh my gosh this finale so far is really fun a really fun idea it feels like it's a play on a concept or or something that it already exists, but I'm not familiar with that. So it's all kind of like piecing together the puzzle of the game while they're playing the game. Yeah. Yeah. Dropout is the one subscription I don't regret having. It's the one subscription I wouldn't cancel. And I do mean the one. Yeah. Because it feels like it's going directly to the people making the stuff. You like most directly to them. Cass says I need to watch which other one Nathan is in. That's a really good one. That's a really fun one. Caldwell's in there too. Find us through the shorts. Had no idea you had a hand in the twerp and NSP music videos. Yeah, hey, welcome. A hand indeed. Swifty over there is director of two of them. Can you stop that? I was art director of a, f a bunch. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm really glad that you like them. Uh, we directed the Starlight Brigade one. Um, and Patrick, our friend, directed the Night Runner, Mike and Bullets one. We got to work on it. But yeah. that was his, that was his child. Yeah. Um. Yeah, a lot of people coming in don't know Swifty. See, 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 see what all I'm right, saying yesterday? All see right, all right. You stop that. See what I'm saying? Doik facts. You should put this, put this up on the internet. Okay. I'm going to change the subject. Put this up on the internet. Okay. Um, I'm putting up on Twitter first. Frenchie says, I'm so grateful that they still upload Dimension 20 episodes on YouTube. I don't care if it's like updates... If it updates months and years later, yeah, likewise. Like, that's how I got into it. So, you know, it's a great way to, to check if it's for you or not. But one of the reasons I really like it is because there's so much on there that isn't just Dimension 20 that's still really good. 
Okay, you're- Like game changer. You're, you're good at the words, Swifty. So what should I put alongside this? I, I've written so far, we're going to Annecy, three exc exclamation marks. Um, hope to see you all there. The bird and the bear are escaping England. Uh, the bird and the Do you bear. remember when I had a little guitar? That was so cool. Yeah. You modeled it yourself. Yeah. Where is it they post first before YouTube? They post it on their uh, streaming service, Dropout. Why am, I why am I writing the bird and bear are escaping England? Because we're going to France. Okay, okay. I, I get that part. <laughs> I'm, I'm, why am I writing this on this post, though? Because... The post is about us being in France. Okay. I so don't understand the question. <laughs> You've asked me what you should write, and I told you what you should write. So we're going to what Annecy. Are you about? We're going to Annecy. The burden bearer escaping England. Hope to see you all there. Sure. <laughs> I listened. Annecy. See you all there. Wait a minute. Completely unrelated, but Doug, do you not use tags on TikTok? I do not. I do not use a single one. Not well, single I have in the past, but now I don't. Crazy, huh? Crazy. Crazy. And it still fucking reaches the For You page. Yeah, try it on some. Why not, right? <laughs> Why not? Give it a go. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's a thing. Did the you pop off after not using tags? Yeah. Every piece, you... every piece of advice I've ever been gotten is like, you should probably tag it for FYP. You should tag things. You should make it wait, all wait, relevant. Wait, wait, don't, don't, don't. But the important thing is, did you use tags and then stop and then it immediately popped off? Or uh, had you not been using them for a while? Uh, difficult to say. I used them when they were like for the turtles ones. I used them on the turtles ones and those ones did like, did pop off. But I think the reason they did was because the animation was so strong. Mm. Um... I I don't know, man. Like, I, I think eventually I was just like, ah, I'm not going to bother. Yeah. You'd have to look back and look at them. The but correlation I is I the important thing. Yeah. So I was checking what, whether there was any correlation. I, I think I gave up on TikTok and it, stopped bothering. Because honestly, that, that's the key. <laughs> just don't care. That's not how I'm trying though, is there? Like... It's, it's not like it's gonna do worse. Well, it might, but you might as well try. Who cares? Yeah. Give it a shot. So I posted a bunch on TikTok. Then I stopped. Then I posted a couple more. Um, and they did a little better. And then I think when they kind of did better than they had before, that's when I was like, okay, I should probably be more consistent with this. But we didn't. I was posting through January to April and we gained no followers and then around early April it started to be shown to people that, that hadn't seen us before and it just slowly just ticked up. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I know. Maybe I have graphs to show thing. it. Do you, do you post one every day on stuff? Because it was really the daily posting I think that started to make things move for us. You used to. Maybe that's the thing. It's like it's just more about daily posting consistency than after a couple of months. TikTok's like, all right, okay. I don't know. Yeah, I th I think the way that TikTok really gets going is if it starts to put it into people's for you pages, and I don't know how to get in there. Yeah, Brustis is saying this. You see in chat. Thanks, Brustis. Brustis says, yeah, I found you guys through TikTok. I had a couple of days where I got like seven of your videos on my For You page. Yeah. You were popping off. We had no clue that that was even happening. <laughs> That's really cool though. Pezkiller says, I started to see you guys randomly like two weeks ago. That's what brought me to your guys' stream. We really appreciate you guys coming over from TikTok, by the way. Thanks so much. But yeah, we don't know what we're doing with our TikTok to make it work. No idea. We just... Doug's just posting every day. The the new bones, like it was one, it was one that just ticked up a, higher than the others, and that yeah. But it even cascaded. before new bones, it was still still doing pretty okay. Although yeah, it, it was really. like doing real bad until it started doing good. 
you just noticed that there were no tags on all the shorts and I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, like yeah. we don't know what is that's working or not working, but like honestly it really doesn't hurt to try, right? You wanna like, you wanna know something if really that's it, it could be it. You wanna know something really interesting? I missed a day, uh two days ago. Not not today. I posted one yesterday. I missed the one the day before. So Tuesday? Tuesday? Um YouTube short got more views than we've had in a while <laughs> in a while i don't know if it's YouTube just like noticed the absence of tiktok <laughs> and it rewarded you yeah it was like okay this one's gonna get like we 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 average around about a thousand views on a youtube short this one was like here's five thousand i was like okay <laughs> martina says youtube doesn't want daily shorts i don't think yeah maybe not how often does advantress post their shorts pretty daily i think is it daily i think i think once you're in the momentum stream it doesn't really matter i, I don't, don't think know. it really matters <laughs> anyway because like, because thor was in the momentum stream and then thor's got completely cut off for some reason that's true yeah there was a point where it was like nope so i don't think you can ever count on it being like a sure thing YouTube won't serve me your shorts for weeks and then suddenly serves me five in a row. Weird. Interesting. Yeah, I don't I don't understand how any of these things work. Because they deliberately make it so we can't understand how they work. All right. They don't tell us. So, wait. Cass says it's all bollocks. Yeah, I, I agree with that. <laughs> That's the take I can get behind. I can't it's all show bollocks. you this. Let's go. Okay. So, we're going to Annet C... I wish I could show you this, but my DMs are... <laughs> yeah, the algorithm is fake. It could well be. I don't know how things get chosen. I don't know. I feel like a lot of things get attributed to the algorithm that might not even be a deliberate thing. But yeah, the not doing tags was a deliberate, I don't care move. Eh? So... Corsa Commodore says, for all it's worth half my for you pages, you guys now. That... I'm sorry. I'm if sorry. That's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's annoying. We can't help it. I think I'm happy that we're getting pushed to for you pages, though. That's cool. Yeah, I, I I think that if you watch one, that's it. That's, that's it. That's the slope. You're doomed. So don't watch them. <laughs> it's the last idea. Don't watch any of our our TikToks, or you'll doom your for you page. Yeah. Honestly, let us know how it goes as well. Or maybe you will need to. Maybe you'll start popping up all over our For You page. I don't use tags on Instagram either. Which is a page I've never been to and don't know where it is. And but not, I might look now. I'm not saying that that works. <laughs> I just don't use... Honestly, I just I just stopped... <laughs> yeah. I just, just stopped thinking. <laughs> yeah. We gave up. <laughs> We stopped putting our energy into it, and that's the key for some reason. You just gotta play it cool. <laughs> you just gotta play it cool. Doigan Swift's ten rules for dating the algorithm. I will say that Instagram is as as a uh, quiet and down. TikTok popped off, and I mean, Instagram got shy Instagram's, at the same time. I think Instagram's still good. Instagram's just, still okay. Yeah, it's not like growing like TikTok seems to be. We had a huge burst on Instagram to begin with, um, and then it's it's kind of slowed down. That could well happen to our TikTok. Who knows? Yeah, it's starting to slow down now. Got no clue. It's fine. We don't need unsustainable, continued, stupid growth anyway. Yeah, it's fine. Sometimes it's okay to just coast on what you got. Um, you don't always have to be crazed about growth and stuff. Honestly, I think Insta might have slowed down because yeah, exactly. every Insta. because of their decision that they were going to start scraping AI off it, and everybody that it was was using Insta stopped. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's what I worry about. Insta is like I worry about people who like they have a burst of growth and then they chase that burst forever, you know, <laughs> and it's like everything becomes about the growth, and all the content changes and they change because it becomes more about making sure you get more views than you did last time, every time. 
I, I do it for I don't want to change so yeah I do it for the enjoyment of making the short now like I genuinely enjoy editing shorts now you really do yeah that's like, awesome I, la I watched the clip from yesterday the whistle one laughed my ass off at it ran through to Swifty I was like you gotta watch this one it's it's so funny and then just sat and edited it and posted it like that's what it's about for me. I really like the fade you put over of you whistling. <laughs> that was really good. Do you know what that was a reference to? It's that guy who's like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> in yeah. the sky in that the video. Cowboy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the Billy Cowboy man, yeah, him. So funny. Yeah, <laughs> looks like Doig fixed collision on the tea box. Oh yeah. I'm really, I'm thankful for it, Dork. Thank You're welcome. you. Now I can sit on it again. I mean, I didn't do anything. It broke last time and it's not broken in this one. Oh, but. okay. Well, fuck you then. <laughs> That's the gif you posted on Instagram, Kaz. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I made an edit of um, a, oh, what's the Red Dead Redemption 2? There he is. Yeah. I made an edit of Red Dead Redemption 2 where this guy, wa like Cowboy, walked onto a bridge and got launched into the sky. And then I matched it with like this guy, the, the song in the sky in the clouds as he was, as he was flying through the sky. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. If you've ever seen that on Twitter, that was me. Maybe others have done it as Is well since. I don't fame? know. No, not really. Well, it might be the, I can't tell if that was my, uh, most viral tweet or not it's, it's between that and uh the this painting has a hidden face and <laughs> stop making animation for kids they don't deserve it <laughs> you just imagine us both modded into red dead redemption 2 we would fit so well with the world that it would be seamless yeah we'd be the horse i i'd love to get doggy swift modded into games but just like as Doig and Swift. Yeah. Like just tiny little beans run, running around, causing mischief and chaos. Or mm. putting just my head on top of like a full grown man's body. Have they ever made a mod? Like if it was a Yakuza that I could get modded <laughs> into and it's just my head on yes. top of like a suit. Yes. That'd be incredible. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, Kiryu. <laughs> what do you think we should do? Would I be Kiryu and you'd be Majima? No, you're funny. You'd be, you'd be the protagonist, whoever player we're playing as. Just Eric says, I'd love to play as you in Sonic Mania. I'd love that too. Apparently, like, Sonic Generations is pretty easy to mod. But oh, even really? the easiest things to mod, I still am unable to. I looked into it and I was like, it's still too complicated for me. It involves going into Maya files and things. Yeah, Doig, you're 100% Kiryu. If, if you could choose which of us two would be Kiryu and which would be Majima, yeah. I think I'm 100% Majima. Yeah. There's too much chaos. You can't contain it. You can't chaos control. Super Doig Swift 64. I would love to make our, our character controller more platformy. Shadow Ziggy says, I just learned how to mod recently. If you think you could mod us into anything, let us know. Um, yeah, but should we'll I- We'll give you $50. Should I just post this? <laughs> yeah, post it. I want to show it though. Pentarog says, are you sure you fixed the thousand bit bomb thing? I don't think Doig did, did fix that. Doig, did you fix it? Uh, what, what do you mean fix it? I don't know. That's just what Pentarog asked. I, I don't know. You don't know if you fixed it. I don't know what to, what they're referring I need to fix. Maybe the fact that when you throw in one bit, like a bunch of bits Oh, oh I haven't I haven't changed that. Let's find out. Whoa! Hey, thank you so much. Oh, you got the you got the green bit. That's a, I haven't even seen that one before. Ah! Yo! I got it. That's so. I'm still winning though. Ha oh, how? How? Because and I'm how. boss. That's how. So I think it. Oh, there's another green bit. No, leave it alone. It's fine. Thank you so much, Penarob. Penarob says so. He did fix it. What was the problem? What did he fix? It may be unleashing a huge amount. <laughs> Maybe. Did you fix that? Ye yeah, we don't care what yes. game it is. Put us in there. 
uh, unless it's Sonic Dreams. Can't I don't want to be in Sonic Dreams. <laughs> Why not? I don't want that. I got a green one. Look at me. I got a green one. Damn it. Everybody, look at me. There's another green one over there. Can I get it? Ah, oh, nah. No. Aru, naru. I think I got two green ones. Heck yeah. Woohoo! Thank you so much, Penna Rob. Last time you broke it. <laughs> that sounds about right, yeah. That sounds like something that would definitely happen on the stream. So, does this work? Oh! That does work. Oh, I see, I see. It's on the screen. This is what I've written so far. How does this look? Fine. Yeah? Blah, 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 I see. Blah, 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 you're there. Okay, sounds good. Let's do it. Hit that button. Post. 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 Wah! Oh! 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 I landed on a jelly can. It all went wrong. Oh, God! Okay, I'm posting it. Post it. Okay, and then I'm gonna link it to you, you guys. Whoa, don't look at that. What is that? That's all my drafts. <laughs> Aww, you're so cute. <laughs> you have a bunch of little drafts. Uh, yeah, what but they're- What did they say? There are a lot of- <laughs> Are they a lot of salty thoughts? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's where Doig puts all his salty thoughts he's not allowed to say. <laughs> Yeah, there's one that's just, Anne gets trapped in the ice for a hundred years because he is running away from his responsibilities. How do you miss this hard? It's a lot of <laughs> stuff like that. I see. Yeah, go on. Read me a hot take from your list, please. Why uh, don't you add them out here? I'll just say them because none of them are egregious, but I didn't, I don't remember what I, I've written. These <laughs> are like, you just put the oh, thoughts Swifty, down. Oh, she's the worst. Uh, show and tell, be seen and heard, know your value, don't wait to be discovered. Be you now as best as you can be. It's okay to believe in yourself and it's better if you do. That's not salty. That's just nice. I know, but I thought it was a little bit like... Preachy? Yeah. I see, I see. <laughs> Moon bitch! Thank you so much for the raid! <laughs> oh, we got raided I was reading that yeah, out. Welcome, Moon Oops. bitch. Uh, Doig is currently reading all his salty Twitter drafts that he's never sent to Twitter before. Howdy, what were you up to? Hey, welcome! It's great to have you all. This one's not so bad. How's okay. your day so far? These are ones that I've written on the Doig Swift account. I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> we didn't pull up ones I've written on my like old account. I'm so curious. In my younger now. days. Manic says, "Give us the saltiest." The saltiest is probably, um, is probably the all caps one about Ang in the live action of just being like, "How do you miss this hard?" Because well, there's two of them. Well, then read us the second saltiest. Uh, the, they're not salty after that. Uh, That's the okay. only salty one. He gets trapped in the ice because he is running away from his responsibilities. That's his whole arc. How do you miss this bad? It's like the whole marketing campaign for this was disgruntle the existing fans so they don't watch it, but raise enough awareness for it that every... And then it dot, dot, dots. I can't see that one. I see, I see. You just went on a Oh, rant. wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, it, go it keeps going on. <laughs> Awareness for it that everyone also thinks this is pretty good. The more they try to prove why this needs to exist as a departure of what came before, the more they prove this doesn't need to exist. The reason this exists is because Netflix exposed it to more people than Nickelodeon ever could and found its fucking audience on the strength of itself. Why change anything? Why make this at all except for greed and profit? That's the yeah. kind of shit that pop I write. Off, pop off. <laughs> and then we're like, that's too many letters. <laughs> also, Moonbeach says that they were they were rigging a live 2D model. That's awesome. Hey, if you've got anything you want to show, if you want to like throw an image in or anything, feel free to. We'd love to see. I got destroyed. Also, Moonbeach says that they've seen that clip. Someone wanted to rage for a while. That's oh, so hey. Awesome. Welcome Thank in. You. Thank you for bringing people over. Welcome, everyone. We're doing Swift. This is our airship uh, where we live. We live and stream on the airship. Don't worry about the tree. That's fine. It's a little bit on fire, but nothing bad's happened so far, so I think it's probably fine. <laughs> Show them the worm. Show them the worm, okay. Let's see if I can find one. <laughs> there's Is a, there one? There's some jelly cats. Um, I don't know if I can see a worm anywhere. I don't think there's a worm anywhere on deck. Monster. But yeah, so this is all a 3D environment built in Unity, the game engine. Um, it's coded in C Sharp. We, we are playing like a local multiplayer, so we both have like Xbox game controllers that this is our, our living room where we can chill out. 
This is our big TV that sometimes works. Yeah, sometimes. Not all the time, though. No, not all the time. That's, that's our control panel. You can see a lever there. Don't, don't push that. I think we've established that the airship is going around in circles. Oh, he's cooking. No, the sonic worm. No. I tried to save him. I got, I got there him. There he is. Here's the, this is our worm. There he is. He's sonic worm. Uh, sometimes he blesses us with his presence. <laughs> Onster says, my son. This is Onster. Onster is a mod here. Our mods are all floaty ghosties who are... Uh, also, the deck. Uh, also try, try hit and grab when you're near me. See if this, see if this works. I don't think grab works. I don't think it though. works yet. Okay, soon, soon, soon. Onsta, soon you'll soon. be able to hold the boy. Soon. He's gonna dry out exactly. Don't let him. Keep him moist. You gotta keep him moist. He only survive if he's moist. I got you. I got you, buddy. Yeah. But yeah, we, me Elmo. we've been using this kind of format for about two to three years now, and it's really exciting. We love the immersive storytelling that it can occur, and we love the emergent gameplay-fueled shenanigans. Like, even we don't know what's going to happen sometimes. Oh my but. gosh! Jasmine T said I made some fan art of Doig. Yo, that's awesome! If you want to throw it in, you might need to, like, right-click the image and get the image. Oh, it's been done by a mod. Thank you, Monster. Oh no, Sonic Worm! I got it. Oh no. I think, I think Sonic Worm fell off. Oh, oh no. This is strong. No, he's good! He's good. You he's found just him. on the side of the ship. Ah. Oh, he's, he's probably me, safest buddy. there. No. Safest with me. Okay. Bring us in. There we go. Oh. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you. I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's adorable. Look, I can't tell which is the real doig. Which is the real one? And, okay, okay, let me ask you both something that only Doig would know. Um, how many salty, salty tweets does Doig have lined up? Like five. What's the other Doig say? <laughs> other Doig, you're a riot. I like, I like that one. I like this one. Which this one? Is the one I'm, I'm taking this one home. <laughs> You imposter, get off the ship. <laughs> get off the ship. Go on, shoo. Shoo. Oh, trying to make me feel sympathy for you, are you? <laughs> yeah, get out of here. <laughs> All right, dog. Let's continue. So uh, you posted it, right? Good job. I'm uh, very proud of you. Why don't you read us another salty tweet, dog? Uh, I read them all. You read all of them. Yeah. It seemed like such a big deal when you were you were so panicked about people seeing. Yeah, because I didn't. I don't remember what they were. You know, they're the the ones where you get. Go to your main them. account and get some salty, salty <laughs> tweets. <laughs> Let's not do that. I want to. I want to know what the main account salty tweets are like. Okay, let me have a look. <laughs> this could be bad. <laughs> Sorry, you don't have to read them if they're super bad. Uh. Rats. Pumpkin pie. Oh, it's not surprising you should sleep probably. That's okay. If you need to go to sleep, go get rest. We'll be here. We'll be here tomorrow. You want to know? There's none. There's none? Oh, there's none. What the heck? I, I guess I didn't use this feature I guess on you're my not own. as bitter as we all thought. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, seriously. Uh, and honestly and transparently, there's none. We're here every morning, except for next week, when we won't be here at all because we'll be in Annecy. Sorry, guys. We have to leave. But yeah, you can help us raise awareness for that. The tweet that I just posted above, um, or linked above, is our announcement we're going to Annecy. We'd love to meet anyone that's kind of going. Look behind and the cowboy. Pop this here. Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, it is just us. Hold up. Hold on, Doig. What? <laughs> oh, oh, same picture. Oh no. Same picture. <laughs> Wait, he's like Yakuza bro, Seijima. Is Doig Seijima? Yeah, I think so. 
my god. Look, it's us. Wait, hold on. I need to, to not get bombed. There we go. If I do this, I can't get bombed. Okay, I'll stand here and you stand next to me. Okay, one sec. Same picture, same picture. Okay, same picture, same picture, same picture. Ah. Ah, I gotta be behind you, hold on. This is us. Same picture. Same picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh, I love them. I can't wait to meet Majima and finally get to know what he's about. Yeah, he seems cool. He does seem cool. I do need an eye patch. Didn't you used to wear an eye patch, Joy? Me? Yeah. As a kid? Yeah. Are you bringing trauma into this? <laughs> you tell everyone about your eye patch. Yeah, they tried to give me an eye patch when I was in school they. to fix... What? They. They. The government. The opticians. <laughs> oh, okay. Doctors. <laughs> to try and fix my um, squint, but it didn't work. So how did they try and fix your squint? They covered your good eye? Uh, yeah, they covered my strong eye so that my weaker eye would develop on its own. They go hand. Science. They go hand my weak eye. Did it work? Oh, I get, would it be piccoloed? They piccoloed, tried to piccolo train my... <laughs> <laughs> it didn't, no. It didn't work? No, I don't Damn. think I had what they thought I had, so it didn't work in the way they thought it would work. Did it just weaken your strong eye? But yeah, it wasn't a, <laughs> it wasn't a cool eye patch. It was like a, it was like a plaster, like a, like a flesh colored plaster Ooh. that you wore over your eye. I th sometimes think that maybe getting uh, like an actual plaster or like a bandage or an eye patch would be better than getting a flesh colored plaster because it means yeah. that at a glance you look like you just don't have an eye. Right, yeah. Whereas if you just get an eye patch and people are like, oh, an eye patch, okay. Yeah, yeah, so now I wear glasses. Yeah, and every couple of years your subscription further decline my subscription to eyesight yeah <laughs> <laughs> subscription to being able to see. they keep raising the prices y'all <laughs> they do it's true though <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> my subscription keeps changing you guys shut up okay the, the, the word is, is the same it's not the same it's similar it's similar it's similar Actually, pre and sub. Yeah, subscription, prescription. Right? Why do they have before and after suffixes? Oh, no, prefixes to the to the words. I don't know, actually. What's a, what's a cryption? What's a scription? <laughs> yeah. I think it's just something you write down. Hmm. To prescribe and to subscribe. Maybe it's who, like, subscribe is... You've to, done it. To to get to get information you subscribe to get information and you prescribe to give information so a prescription is just i think prescription what is, is writing you down what you're this, yes a yeah subscription is i have gotten this yeah yeah what is annecy it's a place but it's also a film festival yeah it's an animation film festival that happens annually in june um a lot of big Big films tend to get their like debut, their premieres there. Like last year, we watched Nimona and we watched a working, ver like a work in progress version of the latest TMNT movie, Mute Mayhem. Um, they have directors there giving talks. They have outdoor uh, screenings. Um, they have a lot of shorts in the festival to win awards and things. They have industry people. They have the MIFA thing, which is like. Uh, if you want to get jobs, there's like a recruitment fair. We don't go to that because we don't want jobs. <laughs> um, well, we were reeling. We, we don't have anything in the festival. We're just going as attendees we're going, to check out what yeah. everyone else has been up to. We're going because we love animation. And we get to meet some friends, industry friends there that are also going. So if he's going to go meet her bud. I am. Um, My bud. Your, your buds. My yeah. buds. Plural blood. P plural buds. Her there blood. Her blood plural buds. Blood brothers. <laughs> um, yeah. So they had a story 
uh, one of the one of the heads of story. Actually, I think they're both going, but one of the heads of story on the rise of the team and T movie. They're both going. Are well, all both heads of the story are going this year. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go hang out and chat, chat story and stuff with them. We're gonna go talk story in France. It's gonna be amazing. Will we post any pictures while we're there? We're kind of toying with the idea of what we're gonna do while we're there because I have my laptop, so there'll be there'll There's be opportunities to do, to do stuff. stuff. But we don't know if we're gonna because it'll depend how much time we have at the beginning and end of each day. Yeah. Um, I don't want to. We're definitely gonna post human pictures. No. Us when we're there. No. Because why would we post human pictures when we're a bird in a bear? Yeah. That would make no sense. We did get recognized for our voice for our voices last year, which really kind of yeah, like that was wild. Both impressed and stunned us. <laughs> Someone was like, "Are you Doig and Swift?" Like, what the heck? Oh, screensaver! Oh, screensaver! <laughs> <laughs> nice! Whoa! <laughs> oh, you guys remember the pipe one that used to be on like the old Windows machine, <laughs> where the Whoa. pipe would like go to the background and then come forward? I loved that one. <laughs> Bear. Says, oh my god, I miss the pipes. Yeah, me too. Every day. You think I'm a pug? I'm not a dog. <laughs> yeah, he's a bear with antlers. Caveat with antlers. With antlers. Parenthesis with antlers. Because you, because you look so uh, uppity all the time. I wonder how much of our uh, new people that come in think I'm what creature they think I am. Yeah. That'd be cool. Do a poll sometime. No one who knows is allowed to answer. Pink Panda Sam says, I'm a better bear, to be honest. <laughs> I could well be. <laughs> Are you guys human sized or toy sized? I think in world, I would say we're between two to three feet tall. Yeah. We're, we're taller than your average fluffy toy and shorter than your average human. Yeah, the best scale thing is to look at the um, trip Sonic. steering wheel. Sonic? Yeah, look at Sonic. He's, He's not like... a banana for scale level of... <laughs> but we're, people we're like... roughly the same size as classic Sonic. Oh, you're not talking about the worm, you're talking about Sonic. Yeah, Sonic. no, I'm not talking about Sonic. Though. Yeah, like if you... So yeah, Sonic. Sonic's yeah. a good comparison. Taller than your average bird, shorter than your average bear. You got it, good God, that's it. <laughs> I saw... I saw um, a video that showed the difference in size between like a male and female. I think it was a brown bear and it's actually kind of terrifying. Like, I don't know if it's just those two particularly, but like the, the male was like double the size. Like they got them to like, just like, um, basically they had to like reach up to bite, bite a f bit of food. And the, the female bear could go like half the height that the male bear could. Oh, well, they need to stand on each of the shoulders. That's the true key to unlocking their combined potential. Yeah, like, so... We got that on lock. This is how we steer the ship. Take me into the control room. Let's show them. I can't jump though. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll jump. Don't worry. I, I got this. Oh, oh, oh. There, I'll, do it. oh I'll do it. I'll here do we it. go. Here, here we, we go. Are. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Okay, so here's our ship wheel. I can't, oh, there it is. There it is, there it is. So I just need to, there we go. Okay, okay. This is this is good. And then, and then I can reach and I can see over the top of the steering wheel to steer the ship. And there you go, that's how we do it. <laughs> that's how we do it. The, the ship was built for humans, unfortunately. Not us. Yeah. So, uh, this is how we have to do it. Doi just has to trust me. <laughs> Green bears and ham. Nobody said that before. I think Green bears said and that ham. Before. Wow. That's true, though. That's Doi's entire thing. He loves ham. Ow. <laughs> That's like his thing. Honestly, someone's posted the same picture thing on, on Twitter. Look how Iceberg had. Ah! Ah! Heck die, I see you. This ship is unsinkable. Okay, I'm going back through. Ha. Ha. 
Doi. Yeah. What? Nothing. Just okay. Just checking that you're around. So are you going to do something, or am I going to do something? <laughs> am or? I going to do? This? I've been doing something the whole time. You've been doing something the whole time. I meant visually. Being charming. Yeah. Visually. You are. Yeah. I've been running around and shit. <laughs> okay. No, you're good. You're good. What are you saying? Nothing. I'm what just. Are you saying? I'm. I'm done on my task, and I posted it. I could post it other places. Hmm. Like where? Uh, Why don't you make a vertical version? Instagram. Vertical version? Yeah, for, for stories. Post it on TikTok. I've never considered posting it Instagram posting stories. On. I guess so. It can be yeah. square on Instagram. But if you make it not square, then it'll take up the whole screen and look better. That's true. Yeah. I'm right. Because I'm smart. Oh, I, I got them bird brains. I don't want to. This wanna. would be fine on a story. This would be fine. I mean, it would be fine, but would it be good? Mm, I don't like Creator <laughs> that much. You should have done this in, in Clip. That would have been smart. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't downloaded Clip on here. I also hate certain things about Clip. I'm sorry, Clip. I have want we, to like you. Have we tried posting it on a flyer? You mean printing it? Printing it, we'll throw it around our local town. <laughs> hey, we're leaving. Hey, everyone, don't worry, we won't be here for a week. Have fun. Like, Creed is great for doing, like, straight up drawing, but, like, for for doing, like, a graphic like this, I would struggle. Yeah, I think I learn Photoshop it. is king when but it comes to it. Part of that is, like, just the... I, I use shortcut keys all the time. Oh, well, you should set them up. Anster and I had such trouble sh setting up shortcut keys in Krita. It can be a little wonky and weird sometimes. You use Sci for primary art stuff, gotcha. Yeah. What does Sci stand for? Super awesome <laughs> India. Super awesome India, yeah. 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 Yeah, I saw that they're trying to p push for like, hey, we want to be able to see what you're doing in Photoshop so that we can better learn how to something or other. It's like, just fucking stop. Oh, Penta Rob, sorry. I did see your clip in chat a couple of times and then my brain immediately forgot. Yes, we can check that clip out. Would you mind posting it one more time? Sorry. Is it this one? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, it probably is. Oh, there's an, oh, oh, ah, hey. Now we both got one. Hey, right. hey, cheers. Cheers. Uh, if you, oh. you have to clink the clips, doig. Cheers. Oh no. Oh, I clink. Clink. Okay, cool. <laughs> I guess we'll put yours on. Oh, do yours if yours is the one it's. How like, do I do it? Uh, it's the same for opening chests. Uh, oh, 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 sorry. You need to go over there for a sec. Oh! Ah, there we go. Ah, da, da, da. Well. <laughs> Is it gonna play, Doig? I don't know. Oh. I think things break. <laughs> well, I mean, you could just open it on your screen if you want, and then we can watch it in the other room. <laughs> Sample text, eh? Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's working great. I'm a solo developer, you guys. <laughs> no, that's so the clip. <laughs> this is it. Perfect. <laughs> it's the thing, things work, and then you don't look at them for a couple weeks, and then they stop working. Sample text. It's my favorite kind. It's the tastiest kind of text. We do have a bird. This is stamps. Stamps is our mail crow. As in they deliver the mail. Alright, I'm gonna go through to the room again so I can see your screen. Does that is that good? That, that's fine. Okay, so let's go. But wait, you have to press it on the stream deck to put us all back over there. How, which one? It'll be the one that says like <gasps> main deck or something. Top left, probably. Top left, go to deck. Save me. Go there to we deck. Go. Yeah. Somebody save me. You might have to turn the screen on again. Again? There's so much like behind the scenes magic that you're just not aware of for the last few years. That I'm just constantly doing. I, it's not and that's coming why on. I, hmm? It's not coming on. Is it not? No. No. Do I have to press transition? You have to do it on the stream deck. On the stream deck? Yeah. How, which one is to it's toggle? The screen toggle. Try it. There we go. Hey. Smart. 
Um, I'll need to check how I'm sending the audio. I'll just play it over here. We'll just listen. Well, you guys can watch it. Yeah, you, you were guys here can for watch it already. It. It's fine. You can all click on the link. Oh, is this? Oh, this, this is, is when it broke. Yeah, this is this is the thing which Panorob was saying. Did we fix it? Yes. Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when someone threw in a thousand, I immediately got six thousand bits. Ah. Uh, and I was like, yeah. something's gone wrong. Pentarob says, hello, TikTok. <laughs> We never made this into a clip, sorry. So yeah, yeah, we did um, multiple denominations of bits now for larger bit bombs. This small little age well, I watched so much of it forever ago. I don't know, I think it's it's probably still pretty good. Good old teen drama nonsense. Uh, I dropped off it though, when they started going to the, the city a bunch. Cause it kind of just felt like the whole feeling of the show changed. It lost what I liked about it, you know? Yeah. So I dropped off watching it then. I had such a huge crush on Lex Luthor, though. I laughed so hard when they re when they named him the, like, the red, blue blur. Like, the red, what? blue, blur. They the were like, he's the red, blue, blur. He's the red, blue, blur? Yeah. That's terrible. Right? Did they just want to steal Sonic's moniker? They were like, oh, blue, blur sounds so cool. How can we do it so that we're not copyright infringing, though? Yeah. Um, well, he has red on his costume too. It's because he's so wearing red, blue, blur. Wearing that red jacket and the blue shirt. Well, Sonic has red sneakers. That's true. But he's not the red, blue, blur. The like red, blue, blur. Red, blue, blur. <laughs> yeah, they went into kind of like marketing really dropped the ball on that one, huh? Um, early kind of Justice League stuff in Smallville eventually as well. So there was a period of time, like maybe two months, where I just watched all of Smallville. Of six says they should round to purple. I love the idea of rounding red and blue. <laughs> <laughs> Mix them. Purple blur. I wonder if it would do that visually. Purple burglar alarm. <laughs> purple burglar alarm. Purple burglar alarm. I feel the fear every time you're about to say that. Purple burglar alarm. Because you don't want to say it wrong and then be be someone who's using the example. Yeah. Purple burglar alarm. Invisible Kraken. I can't say it fast. Though. I can see you. Thank you very much for the subby. Purple burglar alarm. Woo! Yeah, it doesn't catch me. Purple burglar alarm. Wee. Ha. Irish wristwatch. 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 I, lo I lost the hat. No. Yeah, fuck you, Thor. I got this on lock. Every time that came up, like like last year... He was like, oh, but can you say purple bugler alarm? And I was like, yes. I was like, ah, but you're not Scottish. And I was like, Thor, I am Scottish. And he's like, what? Peter Rob says a kilogram of steel is heavier than a kilogram of feathers. <laughs> no! A kilogram of steel or a kilogram of feathers. It's good. It's Lenny or something, right? Ah. He's in the IT crowd. Is he? Yeah. He was. Who has? Uh, he's a guy. I think he's a window cleaner, maybe. He's got a bike with a ladder on it. Oh, cool. But steel is heavier than feathers. Fe feathers. I'm fucking it up now. Feathers. Sorry, guys. Fe feathers. I don't have a Glaswegian accent. I have to, like, try. Oh, but you know what? Doi can do another a Scottish accent really well. Like, we were watching Dead Detective Men. <laughs> Dead boy detectives. <laughs> yeah, that one. Dead detective <laughs> men. <laughs> Dead detective The men. sequel. And uh, they've all grown up. Dunderhead detectives. And then and and there's a lady on that who runs the Lost and Found department for Souls, and she has a Scottish accent that's very particular. And Doug can do it really well. I'm gonna find those boys. Yeah, I can do it when I hear it. I can't do it. Oh, Deedy. Yeah. Um, Kurzik seems to have jived at the mention of Dead Boy Detectives. Kurzik, do you like that show? Have you seen that show? Do you like that show? Have you seen that show? Do you like that show? Jived. 
You're watching it and you like it. Okay. That's good. Glad I'm glad you like it. I it wasn't it wasn't a hundred percent for me. Too much romance. But you know. I just wanna be behind here. <laughs> yeah, you're not a you're not <laughs> a romance fan. <laughs> no. I don't mind a little bit. I just don't like things to be so popular. <laughs> you love the the Cartman Dundee accent. Yeah, that one. It's good. Like I I like romance. I just wish I wish your romance in that show was doing a little better and there was a little less drama. We've not seen the Fallout that. TV show yet, no. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I think I think much like um, other productions because they kind of split the writing between different people for different episodes there's sometimes continuity things that mess with me and like certain tone shifters and character arcs get a little bit like almost stepped or reset where you're like I feel like they should be beyond this point no, it's interesting. Like I think the setting and the setup and the the like oh, oh. thing of Dead Boy Detectives has a lot of potential. Oh, me too. And I hope that if they continue that, it continues to. You know what was good? Huh? That I wished was more of. What? You know. You know. Do I? Yeah. What was that other show? The one that got cancelled. <gasps> Lockwood and Co. Lockwood and Co. Yeah. Lockwood and Co. was cool. Yeah. I like more Lockwood and Co. I can't believe they cancelled it. Goodness sake. I liked that show. I was looking forward to seeing what happened. Yeah, that had a good, that had a good kind of through line mystery to it. It was a bit melodramatic sometimes, but I was on board with it. I enjoyed it. Hmm. Yeah. 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 We watched it separately. Um, I kind of worked my way through it before and was like, you should check this out. I think you'd like it. Clayton said that got cancelled. Yeah, it got cancelled. Yeah. Can you believe it? Yeah. Bullshit. They, they do. They always cancel the best shows. You notice that? They like do. The ones that are like, okay, this is genuinely good. I think maybe because like it's probably an expense thing. Like they don't why. they don't make back what they've put in and then they sh they, they, they freak out. I know why. It's because they expect shows to be immediate immediate successes nowadays. So if you release a sh the first season of a show and the first season doesn't immediately take off, then they'll cancel it before they have talks about a second season. Sometimes they'll even cancel it midway through the first season. Yeah. They just expect it to be an immediate success, which is wild because all of the existing IPs that they keep wanting to make sequels for because they're so successful, none of them took off immediately. They all yeah. took like a little bit to build up, but it's like they forgot that. It's like they think that like things like Avatar were just an immediate incredible success rather than they took years and years to hit. Yeah, do you know how hard they hit people with the first pilot episodes of the TMNT 1987 series? Like mm -hmm. that shit was on all the way through a holiday season, like multiple times, like boom, 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 boom. They were like, watch the turtles, boom, 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 because we depend on this to make toys, boom, 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 boom. Like, yeah. You got to do that. You got to make forgotten. it available. Now they think that it's just if you release it and people immediately are talking about it and like it and it goes viral, then it's worth keeping around for another season. If it doesn't do that, then can it? Yeah. By by comparison, like the recent Rise of the Team and T one, they released four of the episodes or something on line. And then then when they like released them later when it was like televised and stuff they found that there was less of an audience but it's like yeah your audience your core audience they, they all watched it, it in the during yeah, they watched it during the summer like account for that and then everyone judged it on those first couple of episodes because it was nothing so else. early yeah. yeah yeah it's bad it's bad but yeah i love lockwood and co and now it's gone i mean, it didn't even get past season one Got that summertime, summertime sadness. So, so, summertime, summertime sadness. Yeah, we're currently watching through Scavenger's Rain. That was one of the shorts that was at Annecy last year that I, dra I like didn't drag people to, but I was like, we have to go and oh, watch this. I was dragging too. Um, we're both dragging. 
Yeah. In fact, we weren't. <laughs> I was I was dragging, and you were dragging, and JJ was dragging, and we were all like, let's go see it. And none of us had to drag anyone else because we were all like, scavengers rain. Yeah, it looks, and it was awesome. It's incredible. It's so good. I haven't. We, we're like five episodes in or something, so no spoilies. The books were quite good for the Lockwood books. Yeah, I think I'm going to... I gonna, might have to read them. I'm going to have that's to. that's the only way now that I can get the story. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to watch it anymore, am I? This is kind of jazzy to be behind us. Nice screensaver. Thank you. It's a shame you can't modify it to be more Doggy Swifty. Make them all Sonic worms, you know? <laughs> Just... Yeah. Um... Yeah, it is amazing. You watched it twice so far. Yeah, I think we just like... We fell off it because there were so many other things that we had to watch. I, I think it's because we were watching the Fantasy High Dimension yeah. 20 and that took a while. We were watching Fantasy High Dimension 20 and we are watching Blue Eye Samurai and we are watching a couple of anime as well. Yeah. We, we watch at lunch times and at dinner times when we cook food. Yeah. We started watching a show called Eric. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Don't point on being like, let's just watch something. We're exhausted and we need to relax. So we haven't had any time all day. So let's just stick anything on. This looks stupid. <laughs> it's called Eric. It's about like a puppet that comes to life or something, I guess. I don't know. And he stuck it on and it turns out it's actually a really intense mystery drama. Yeah. And I was really not <laughs> expecting. I was not expecting it to be what it was yeah i mean we're, again we're only what three or four episodes in it's a, there's not that many actually i think we're four episodes in out of six or something something like that yeah so again if you've seen it no spoilers but so far it's really good oh yeah we've been watching dungeon meshi as well yes we've been watching dungeon meshi that's a great one to watch when you eat yes like that that's the thing we have to have the stipulation mm -hmm. that we have to earn being able to watch the new Dungeon Meshi yeah. episode by cooking for ourselves. Exactly. Like, Doig was like, the new Dungeon Meshi is out the other day. And we were both like, we can't watch it, though. We need to wait till we cook something. Yeah, Krizik's like, I exclusively watch Dungeon Meshi with a good meal, right? It's like, it's like you have to. You have to be, you have to, like, yeah, mm -hmm. you it's have the to. The vibes are immaculate when you watch that show while eating. Yeah, it's so good. Also, on which series are you talking about? I missed. I missed which series it was. Uh, something jellyfish movie. space cat. Something jellyfish space cat. Let me. Let me. Uh. Let, let me go up. Up. It was. Please watch jellyfish can't swim in the night. <laughs> jellyfish can't swim in the night. What a title. Uh, it's about a group of girls forming an artist slash creative group. One's a musician, one's a VTuber, etc. And it's relatable and gay and good. Okay, I'm going to check that out. That sounds great. Hell yeah. I like... I like when homosexuality and that sort of stuff is just included, like, as is in something. Rather than being an usp of it. You know what I mean? Where it's like, it's just matter of factly presented and it's good and it's cool. Rather than it being like, this show is about, you know, like, well, I just want to be like, this show has a group of people and they're all awesome. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I was catching from Love Sick and Pentarob. To see yeah, that's how it does track it. Of that conversation because it seemed interesting, but. Um, that's good. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it feels like it's. um trying to cater too hard and drawing too much attention to itself then it can be a bit off-putting because then it can feel a little bit like it's just lip service yeah you know it's better for it to be well written than it is for it to be like everything that the show's about like <laughs> there's a character in dead boy detectives that wears a rainbow belt and i'm just like okay i mean that's fine though <laughs> Like, that's fine. <laughs> it's just that to me, Dead Boys Detective became more about, oh, who fancies who, than about the detectiving. And it's like, but I'm interested in the supernatural cool stuff as well. Let's be fair. They're awful detectives. Yeah, they really, <laughs> they really are. It's a part where one of the... One of the boys is watching Scooby Doo and he's like, Wow, they're really good detectives, aren't they? And I'm like, You cannot be watching Scooby Doo and saying that. You cannot. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? They're the worst detectives. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You're meant to be a professional. <laughs> yeah, because it says Edwin Darling. No. <laughs> you can't be thinking this when you're watching Scooby Doo, please. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a lot of endearingness about that show. Yeah. I just a lot I, of things to like about it. There's just scenes where like they there there's like conflict where you're like this could be resolved with like five words. Why is this happening? Writers, yeah. they don't need this. Have them resolve this already. Mm. This makes no. S they're fighting about nothing. They're fighting about nothing. Why? And sometimes <laughs> the fights are just like, are you okay? No. And then it cuts to the next scene. It's like they never <laughs> talked about it. <laughs> like, I, and then we just left him sitting there in the grass and went I, home. I don't know how writers do this where they're like, oh, let's end on a cliffhanger and then have the same characters walking like seven hours later just being like, so did none of them talk? It does that a lot where it's like <laughs> they're looking for something and they're like, okay, we can be a crack at it. And then it'll cut to like nighttime. And it's like, have they just been stood there for like five <laughs> hours? <laughs> anyway, anyway. Whoop. Anyway, a lot of good shows have been good lately. We had Actually, a lot. The movie's of, been amazing. We had a lot of fun with Dead Boy Detectives. But yeah. oh boy. We did. It's Dead Boy Detectives something I can read. Is that based on like a book? I don't know. It's set in the series. same universe as The Sandman and stuff like that. Like the, I think it's in the same one as the Constantine books and stuff. What's the mod conversation that's currently happening? I, I didn't pick up the beginning of it, so I don't know what it's actually about. Uh, Neil Gaiman is not writing on it, uh, Kurzak. I think it's just like set in the same- Based on his work? Like it's, yeah, it's based in the world established by the Sandman comics. And ah. and others that are kind of semi-related Oh, there. Pendra's asking for modding advice, awesome. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> to jump into your conversation and be like, hey! I just interested, because it looked interesting. But that's cool. I like to see people helping other people out, it's rad. Yeah. I've noticed in chat, Moldrum's being quite good and diligent and answering questions. Oh, that's which cool. Which I appreciate, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you Sometimes we miss things, as you guys can probably tell. <laughs> Sometimes we completely miss things in chat. We get too into a conversation, and then when I look back at the chat, the things I was looking at have gone. Kurzik makes it look like the fan art of me is wearing a hat from over here. Oh yeah, <laughs> like a Jamiroquai hat. I guess, yeah. <laughs> Ritual insanity. <laughs> Yay. Is that sound on the, on the soundtrack? I think so. Hold on. It is. Wild. I was like, are the races outside? <laughs> Who's tearing around the streets of our town right now? Is it just me or is the stream as quiet? So we've had that issue mm. since yesterday and we've turned up our audio. Yeah. And your computer's restarted. Yeah. I don't know. It might have to be an after Annecy fix. Yeah. Because we only have tomorrow to stream and then we'll be off to Annecy's festival. So I, I don't know if we have time to fix it. There are so many jelly cats. Hey, thank you for all the followers. I keep forgetting because this is kind of a new thing. I keep forgetting that all the jelly cats are people who followed. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm nap. I'm napping. Lemon soda. Put, put, hold on. Oh! oh! Shit. I don't know what happened to them. I'm sorry. Oh, there you are. I'm napping is just over here. Could we pose for a thumbnail? Tropic penguin. I guess we could. Yeah. Um, sure. I don't know what to do. I guess we could just pose in front of the, the your, uh, your awesome screen here. Doing That's the loading true. thing. Yeah. Here, why don't you come and stand on top of this with me? And then we'll... we'll well, well. Do the do the camera button on the thing. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. On um, the stream on the stream deck. There it is. All right. We rise above. Huh. Hey, check it out. 
It's like one of those eighties family pictures. Hold on, if you if you turn to the side. Oh no, I sorry, can. yeah, no worries. I like I'll this. wait for you to position the camera and then we'll do it. That'd be smart. We might need oh. to move this my antlers off, or maybe Martina can make it black. But zoom in just a little bit more. To you. Yeah. Now that's perfect. And then we just need to uh if you press the button I can jump up again. Okay. There it is. Then I just need to find where I am. <laughs> wait. Aha. Okay. Oh I'm, wait. How oh, is it's it a so little low? bit. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on, I'll hit the camera again, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, I got it. There you go. Oh We're not on it. We're not on it. Okay, that's the reason. That's the reason. Take it back up. Okay. I've turned it off. There we go. Okay, all right, all right. All right. And then you turn to the side, and then I go like like this, like I've got my hands on your hips, and then I turn to the camera. You see, this is how you do the proper 80s pictures. I need to, eh, I need to get the perfect position. There we go, and now you turn to the side. No, you've got to turn your body to the side, dog. To turn this, your to body. This, to this way? No, your actual body, Doi. I can't turn my body. Oh, my yes, whole body. Yes, yes, your body. Turn to the side <laughs> and then look over your shoulder like I'm doing. Okay, <laughs> hang on. Yeah, yeah. You know, get, get to the side. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect portrait. No, why would you do this? I hope you got it. <laughs> I'm seeing it. I hope you got it. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe you guys. <laughs> How do we reset the camera now? <laughs> uh, you're gonna have to, I don't think I have the reset button working. So you're gonna have to give me the camera again. I'll put okay. it back. All right, here you go. Take the camera. That was so good. <laughs> that was exactly like those 80s pictures. <laughs> you got it, Martina. Oh, I'm so proud. Thank you. You gotta give me control back. Okay, here you go. There you are. Low angle. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. So is there no way for me to reset the camera now? Is this just it? Uh, Once we've used a little camera control, that's that's trapped there forever. No, we can we can reset it. I just need to find the code for it. Um, the code? Yeah. I don't have it open. Don't worry about it. Um, if you open Stream Deck, we can maybe make a guess at what don't it would be. It's probably just reset it. camera. It's fine. What if I just go, do go to deck? Go to deck. Okay, no, never mind. I broke it. Yeah. Hang on, I can I can fix it. Uh, Unity. Hey, cat, get out um, of the way! Your big butt's blocking everything. Give me a couple a couple minutes, and I'll be able to tell you what to type in. You bring up Stream Deck in the meantime. Um. Okay, I'll try. Stream Deck. <laughs> this is the thumbnail. Oh, you're controlling my thing. You need to stop. Sorry. Stream deck. <laughs> okay, I got it open. Now you can control all you want. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> what a good family picture. <laughs> we need to put that up somewhere in the um <laughs> in the stream room, you know? Okay, let me grab yeah. that then. Have a little portrait. Maybe you can fade, like do a larger image of you as well and fade it off to the side, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if I show the cowboy in there. <laughs> yes. It looks like you're holding one of those giant pool floats because of the way that the background is. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone fishing. <laughs> That's a look at my wife's <laughs> pregnant belly pose. He's eating a lot of curry. Oh Oh, it's so good. I love it. Hi, yeah. Some of these thumbnails could be good tweets. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Hey, Jellycat, get out of here. <laughs> Perfect. What a beautiful family we have. Okay, <laughs> Unity's opening. Once that opens, I'll be able to find the correct. Post it on Kara. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm not Lon posting sold the it on incredible Cara. piece of art. We'll just put this on. Actually, I did an experiment. I posted on Kara yesterday. What just did to you see. Post? I said, I think, I hope there's some niche for goblins on here. Uh, one comment. Let's go. <laughs> Summer is major getting scared in a haunted house energy. Did you just post a picture of yourself looking gormlessly at the camera? No, why? It's a video. Oh, is it? Yeah. I didn't know you could post videos on Kara. You can embed YouTube videos, so oh. it's it's the short. Oh. <laughs> um, but, but, we got over, we got 102 people followed us on Kara good. so far. It's pretty good. There you go. For not putting any art on it yet. Sure, oh. I'll take it. It's pretty good. I saw a tweet by one of the people that's running Kara and uh, their, their like website service provider just gave them a bill of $92,000. What? Yeah. What? So we'll, we'll hopefully that, that gets resolved. Oh it's my because, God. It's because they've gotten like four over 400,000. Well, I think they broke 500,000 like users in like a week. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> I hope they can pay it. <laughs> That's that sucks for them, but also I hope they I hope they can pay it. Oh, I saw your uh, your question earlier, Pink Panda Sam. Sorry you missed it. Do either of you play any instruments? Oh yeah, um, I strum guitar a little bit. I'm not brilliant at it, but I yeah. can I can play like rhythm guitar a little bit and sing along to it. I can play a little bit of piano or more keyboard, but not that much. I used to play drums and flute and violin. I haven't played any of those in a long time. Um, yeah, we're we're more hobbyists, but we we kind of like a little musical. Everyone, throw your caras in chat. Everyone, follow throw your caras in chat, and everyone follow everyone else. <laughs> let's let's all let's all know each other on Kara. Yeah, I'm planning to put up like. Um, oh, that's something I want to do today, Swifty, is edit uh, some, like, storyboards together with finals for, like, putting up on places. Okay. So we can put those up on... Which storyboards? Places. Maybe Starlight Brigade storyboards. Mm. Maybe uh, Night Runner storyboards. Mm. And stuff like that. We'll see. We'll or, see. Uh, or maybe, like, Rise of the TMNT storyboards and stuff like that. What is Kara? Kara is, like, Twitter, but... um. It's focused on art and artists, and they are against AI. So I think artists feel more secure and protected on there and respected, you know? So we're getting season one. Ha! We wish. So it's blue sky, but safe for work. Maybe. I can imagine that Cairo might have some not safe for work art as well. I don't know. Yeah, Ansa says it's more of an art station replacement with no cruddy AI. Yeah, it's got stuff for like, it's got a feed for like Twitter S stuff, but it's also got portfolio um, pages for people as well. So it's kind of like a more improved media tab from Twitter. Um, seems cool. Oh, I see. Postal Commodore says I don't allow not safe for work at the moment because app stores approves. All right, fair enough. Maybe eventually they will. Um, so if you check out Stream Deck again and you make a copy of the camera button and then type in reset camera. Which camera button? The, uh, this one? The one that says free fly. Make a copy of that. And then in this field, do reset camera with a capital R and a capital C. Okay. And if you hit that, hopefully it works. Let's see. Nice. Hey. <laughs> so I nice. Must, so I must have been clicked into there. There we go. Hey. Yay. There we go. Very nice. Looking good. Ho oh, Pentarob, thank you. Thank you so much for the bits. Here you go, Swifty. Had to even out the bits on this channel. Thank you. 
Yeah! Bit stormed. Yeah, you guys, all everyone follow everyone else's Kara. Let's let's get a little artist community thing going. That's awesome. How is Girl the Glim two going? It's going pretty slowly at the minute because various things like preparing for Annecy and getting distracted by D and D stuff have happened. Uh, but it is happening. Yeah. Yeah. So if she's filling fill a sketchbook of ideas for it, mm -hmm. I sure am. I'm uh, I'm pre thumbnails at the minute. I'm just visualizing everything, doing a bunch of sketches. It's honestly amazing. Like, oh, thanks. Yeah, I've I been think having a lot of fun with it. You, Whoa! Your, I think it was your mum that came to visit, and uh, they were out on the like coffee table. You guys had a flick through, and she like really liked them. Enough to tell your dad to come and look at them as well the next time he visited. Aww. So it's really sweet of them. Are we going to the Toy Story 5 screening? Where? When? At Annecy. I don't think there is one at Annecy. I didn't see that at all. It wasn't on the program if there is one. <laughs> Heard that they're putting it out before theatres. Yeah, Kaz, I think it's, it's more of a artist community than a way to get a bigger audience but I guess it could also be used for that yeah yeah honestly I think I think artists need somewhere like that to kind of talk to peers mm -hmm. rather than like um, the bigger social media apps like there used to be something called conceptart.org which were forums for like your sketchbooks and just people kind of talking the talk with one another yeah um, then CG Hub kind of came along and, and it was that for a while. Then CG Hub kind of died and it became Facebook and everybody friended each other on Facebook and start, people started posting there. And I think that was the kind of the first time that like artists poured into social media. And so around that time it was like Facebook and Twitter. And then ArtStation kind of rose up um, off the back of that. And, on, and and behind the scenes and stuff, as I said, like there's been DeviantArt all those years and there was also like skeezy art for a bit. But I'm, I'm talking, talking about the places where like industry people are likely posting their work. Um, and so Kara kind of feels like a combo between ArtStation, CG Hub and Twitter to me. Mm -hmm. Also, Nico Squad, thank you so much Sheezy, for sorry. Yeah, Sheezy art, it's not skeezy, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just misremembered. Oh my gosh. I just misremembered. I was just saying, Nikos, but thank you very much for, for popping in Reb's Kara as well. We want that. Yes, give us that tasty link. Yeah, I also kind of miss DeviantArt because they were simpler times, you know? And I miss the early days of Twitter. You know, when if you were, if you were following a bunch of artists, it was just cool art on your wall. Yeah. You know? Which is what I'm hoping Kara will become. Is, is Pinterest, but I can also chat to the artists instead of it all being people reposting things from other sites. Oh, it keeps it keeps doing the screen screensaver. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, there's Tumblr as well. That was there is around Tumblr, for a while. I again, didn't use Tumblr as much. Yeah, there's not so much of a like back and forth on there. People can leave comments, but it doesn't feel like a conversation as much. Um, I also use Blogspot as a personal website for posting stuff for a bit. <laughs> I remember Blogspot, yeah. And everyone used to have a Blogspot. What are you most excited about Annecy this year? Ooh. I, mm, I think for me, I'm really excited to see Ultraman. Um, that and Wild Robot. I was really excited to see the arcane making of, but that got booked up so fast That's I couldn't get a so ticket. So fast. It it sold out in like two seconds. Yeah. And I just wasn't fast enough to get it. Ah. But there's so much other stuff I'm looking forward to. To be honest, the thing I'm looking forward to most about Annecy though is just hanging out with the friends I normally don't get to see. Yeah. Like the screenings are they're cool and awesome, but like for the most part I was worried about missing them so that I would be out of the conversation because what I found last year was that we would go and see stuff and then we would just talk about it. Yeah. And it was talking about it that was more enjoyable than seeing the thing itself sometimes. 
Thank you so much, Pablo Soul. Because you're with people who are like genuinely invested and interested in the craft of it all. Um, so the, I was, I got so stressed yesterday. Yeah. Right before and leading up to like having sick. to make reservations. Yeah. Sick with stress. You had a stress fever. Um, and it's mostly just like, I wanted to get into the same things that I knew my friends were getting into so that I, well, one, I wasn't at a loose end when, when you guys were in there, but also like, so that I wouldn't kind of, I'd be able to talk about things afterwards. Because it says, oh. say hi to Grandma Del Toro for me. I don't know if we're going to see them. I don't know if they're even there this year. They <laughs> we never saw him last year and he was there. Oh, I should we, saw, we saw his talk and he was amazing. Yeah, but we didn't see, like, we didn't talk yeah. to him. But he didn't, he doesn't have a talk this year. I hope he's going to be there anyway. Wes Anderson's there this year. I wanted to go to his stuff, but it was all over the top of Ultraman. Yeah. So I had to choose. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I had priorities. I'm just sad that with Annecy, it's like... There's like two or three days where there's just nothing on that I'm interested in. And then the things that I am interested in all overlap one another. Yeah. Like, no. There were so many people at Annecy last year that I had no idea were there and only found out about it because I saw them posting on things like on Instagram and stuff. I was like, what? It's such a kind of like, there's so many people around. Um, I don't know how you find people. Oh, you he think he's going for Pinocchio to show off and stuff? He he was there last year for that. Yeah. The, Pinocchio wasn't even showing this year. Mm. It was last year. I think it was in the open air last year. Uh-huh. It was good. That film's awesome. I saw... Um, uh, is it Jorge Gutierrez? He was just wandering around. Um, I wish I'd gone up to him and talked to him. I got to chat to Peter Ramsey for a little bit. That was nice. I think you're a little more, more confident this year. I think you'd go up and talk to people more. Yeah, I think so. I That's think I'm cool. just going to be like, stuff it. Uh, oh, Pablo, so thanks so much. I appreciate it. But yeah, I got to I got to like pass um, Peter Ramsey a copy of Girl in the Glim because he was like, oh, what are you doing now? And I was oh like, oh, gosh. well, here, I've got, this is a book I can show you. And that was nice. Um, Did you let him keep it? I don't think so. Uh, you, well, he handed it back, so I didn't want to be like... Keep it. It's yours. <laughs> um, we have like five of them. I should have though, right? Mm -hmm. Damn. Is there any Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse stuff? Not that I saw, no. There was last year for The Spider Within um, that has now been released, I think. But yeah, Peter Ramsey was there because he was one of like the co-producers on the... Disney anthology I was part of. So it was cool. I could kind of go up and be like, oh yeah, I was, I was, um, I worked on this film and he was like, oh, hey, I was like, cool, cool. That's a good, that's a good lead in. It's so difficult when you go up to someone and you're like, hi, I'm this person. And then they're like looking at you and they're like, who, who, <laughs> yeah. Who are you? Yeah. Um, we had, to, we tried to do that with, uh, the couple of directors that were on the Team NT film, and yeah. <laughs> oh, pal, you got Kara too, awesome. Heck yeah. There it is, throw it in there. Everyone follow. Yay. Yeah. But what else are you excited for, for Annecy? Oh, you know, what actual events? Yeah, or anything. Um, I guess I'm excited for the Ultraman making off. Yeah, yeah. If I can compare it, I think Ultraman might... I'm hoping that it's like the Nimona. Because Nimona last year, watching that in the the Grand Salle was such a great collective experience. Like, yeah. everybody was fucking cheering their faces off at the end of Nimona. Mm -hmm, like, yeah. everyone knew that that was... It was a great... It was a great audience for a great film. Everyone was really hyped up about it. Yeah, everyone knew that that was a fucking incredible film. Yeah, we were we were losing our minds watching it. It was so good. Like tearing up hearing the story, like for direct. Like I know it's part of the kind of mythos of that film, but the fact that they that film was dead, cancelled, yeah. and the crew were like, "No, fuck you, fuck you. It's too good. It's too good." 
we're not gonna it's not gonna end here and the fact that they were like just pushed for it to like keep going Oh, cool. It was one of your favorite graphic novels, but you haven't seen the movie yet. You should 100% watch the movie. It's so good. It's so good. Pablo saw also. What the heck? Yo, thank you. Five gifted subs. Thank you so much. That's so many gifties. Thank you. Thanks for the support. Congratulations, everyone who can now use Sonic Worm, the cursed emote on other people's streams. When they were talking about Nimona, they were talking about that they, they kind of blended story like they asked people on the crew like their experiences and they kind of pulled that all together to really really say something that meant something yeah and i think they really succeeded yeah like it's a great example of how anyone can identify with that film but the allegory towards like being trans or like feeling weird about gender stuff is so well done yeah and like so ingrained into the story as well it's like a great example of it telling the story really well but not being so in your face and obvious and surface level it's like actually well told and deep and i think hopefully it will help a, a bunch of people who didn't understand how people felt before now understand how people feel about it like i feel like it's a movie that can only do good in the world yeah oh i'm trapped oh there we go. What happened? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's an important movie. I'm so happy it's as good as it is. It's like, honestly, one of my new favorite movies. Yeah, it's so rad. It's definitely up there. It's just great. It's just a great story. And then also there's this other layer that you can dig into with it. So I'm hoping that um, Ultraman Rising is this year's like Nimona. Yeah. Bombadactyl says, what movie my internet hiccuped? Nimona. Nimona. Um. Yeah, cool. That's completely, that makes complete sense. You should wait until you have a, a night when you really want to see it. Awesome. And then just have a great time. We're doing okay. We're, today is like one of the less kind of like busy days this is of like this week the one free day we have this week and i say free we have what it actually means is today is cleaning the apartment and packing yeah and i see um also packing up a few orders and sending them off but like the whole yeah. week so far has been a hundred percent a go, bunch go, of meetings go, 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 and a go, bunch go. of uh things we need to complete or do or be on time for yeah but, but right now, today, is just a packing day, it's a cleaning day, it's a shipping day. Yeah, on Tuesday, we basically made dinner at like 11 p.m., ate it, watched a little bit, and fell asleep. Fell asleep, yeah. We got free at like 11, and we're just like, can we, can we make something to eat? I feel like I'm not even that hungry, I just want to make something to have time doing something with you that's not sat at the computer doing meetings and notes and things. Yeah, there's exciting stuff. Yeah. exciting stuff compounding together this week that yeah it, everything happened at the same time um, as usual but uh we're really excited about what's coming up my laptop slept oh we can't talk laptop. about it yet but hopefully yeah hopefully we can talk about it at some point yeah we'll see we'll see i'm not gonna say anything about it uh it's way too soon but yeah, we're not actually flying tomorrow. We're flying Saturday. Um, but tomorrow, our dad is coming early to grab the cats. And then after dad grabs the cats, we're going immediately to the airport to stay in a hotel close by because our flight the next day is so early that there's no way we'd be able to get a train from where we are right now to it. Yeah, it turns out, Kurzak, that our best laid plans, we, ca we couldn't get to the airport in the morning of. And... <laughs> We had sort of like ideas that we would spend a little bit of time <laughs> fucking it, as it turns out Kurzik, like we would not have been able to do that plan it would have been too much no. but we tried um, like our plan was to get to spend some time in amsterdam uh, yeah. because it's one of the stop offs we have on the way yeah but there was just there was just no way it was going to happen which is a shame because it feels like such a waste when you stop in Amsterdam. And Sorry, like, you guys. I could just I could just take some time to go now and go and see some friends and take a few days. But it wasn't to be this time. 
We'll just have to make a dedicated trip to Amsterdam. Yeah. Instead of trying to roll it into another trip. Yeah, I think so. Yo, thank you so much. Jester, thank you. Thanks for the subby. Um, Appreciate it. Enjoy your Sonic Worm emote. <laughs> it's a copy of our graphic novel. Yay. Amsterdam. We'll meet eventually. We'll meet soon, I hope. We should just have an entire like meet up in Amsterdam and get everyone over there. Yeah. We'll bring copies of the book <laughs> like this to you. I don't think they need us to bring copies of the book to them. Aww. Yeah, and the one hour detour away from Amsterdam. For sure, Martina. For sure. Answer says, I'll go. Heck yeah. Let's all meet up in Amsterdam. Lovewin says, I want the book. You can order it online. If you want it, if you want then it. IDW are selling it. So you can yeah. get it from them. We saw... <gasps> We saw the book. I tweeted about it. We saw the book we in a bookstore. Book in a Manchester bookstore. Yeah. For the first time ever. Um, in England, we saw the book. So that was wild. Yeah. Uh, it was cool. I was like, should we sign it? And, and Indy was like, mm, no, no. I don't want to go up to the store and be like, this is my book. Do you want <laughs> me to write in it? Um, <laughs> made me feel awkward. But we should it was do really stuff cool like just that, to though. see it. If, dude, if there's, if they, because last year there was copies of the French edition in the Annecy, like, there's a bookstore in the main building for Annecy, and they, they had the French, because it was out that year, they had the French editions. If they have copies of it still in that bookstore, I am going to sign them. Oh. Yeah, How are no. you going to say to them in French? Uh, je m'appelle Michael Doig. How are you gonna say, can I sign this book for you? Uh. Ooh. Yo! Uh. We just got our fourth wall order. That's amazing. Hey, thank you. If you happen to be watching the stream right now, thank you. I don't know what your order is, but I hope that you enjoy it. <laughs> Omelette du fromage. Put, we're gonna have to put a hold on shipping orders out next week. Yeah. Um, which we'll put on the website and on the store page so you guys know, just cause we'll be away. Oh, you ordered stickers. Thank oh, you. Oh, enjoy the stickers. We've been told the stickers are cool, so that's good. <laughs> oh, the merch link doesn't work. Oh, no. Someone like her story of her oh, is wow. terrible. Yeah, you can't buy the book from the store, but you can buy it from a bunch of other places. Yeah. And you it's linked on there, so, you know. Used to be able to, but we don't have any copies of our book in yeah. our uh, home anymore. No, we, we sold, sold them all at them conventions. All. <laughs> yeah. But you can get it from like uh, Blackwell's or Amazon or wherever you buy your books, you can get it from. Where's the link? Should I just pop it in? Yeah, go for it if you've got it. Got I it. think I know where it is. Is it is it doiswift.fourthwall? I'm going to bring this back because we're talking about is. going to Annecy, so it makes sense to not have a black screen behind us. Is this it? Is this a thing? Is this anything? No, that's not anything. That's nothing. <laughs> Don't click that. <laughs> that's nothing. I think there's a dash somewhere in there. Okay, one sec. That, okay, I got it. Here, Here is the actual link. <laughs> here you are. Oh, I changed up the Doigswift website, by the way. That's the one. And then if you scroll down a little bit, there's a little board, there's a little uh, banner for Girl in the Glim with an animated thing. It says, the Girl in the Glim, 120 page graphic novel, order now. And if you click that, it'll take you to where you can order it from. You clicked it and found out, oh no. Oh no. Don't click it. Oh look, there we are. We're live on the bottom of the, st of the store page right now. Oh really? Incredible. That's cool. Yeah. Hello. 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 Hi everyone on the Hi. store. Hi. <laughs> it's us, the people who are also on Twitch that you saw like two seconds ago, but now we're here. Ho oh, ho, we're everywhere. We're everywhere. You can't escape us. <laughs> also, sorry, my racing jazz has stopped. <laughs> Your racing jazz? Yeah, that's, that's what we were listening to. That's cool. Some racing jazz. The site plays cool music. Does it? It Wait, shouldn't. The fourth wall? <laughs> the fourth wall shouldn't play any music. Is it broken? Who knows? No. No, digital printing. No advert. I refuse. You're taking the animation go. hard hat with you to Annecy, aren't you? Yeah. I wonder if we'll see 
that's a good way to spot us. Also, Anyone I'm literally it. on the website. So if you want to know what I look like, I'm on the website. That's true. <laughs> that's true. The website we just we just posted to you. There's there's human Swifty on there. No, so, you know. no, we got a model. Don't tell him that. I, well, okay, no, sorry, we hired this person. That's not me. It's <laughs> definitely not me. What we a can good photographer. To hire models. We don't have to just take pictures of ourselves in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> They're nice woods, though. They are nice woods. Yeah. The, the best be part is the cursor. It That's really the part is. I'm proudest <gasps> of, of the entire store. Right? Yeah. It did so good. Okay, so... It was the fastest part to do, and it's the part I'm proudest of. In January, Swifty put that, that site, site together, and it's it's so good. It's so good that we're closing our other store. Make it in a mo, India. It already kind of is. We just don't have the anticipation pose. <laughs> you guys want it as an emote? Maybe I will make it an emote for you. Yeah, no, Doug didn't want to be on the site. I used to be on the Girl Deep. and Glam site, but I changed it and made it the ugliest fucking drawing of me. Thank you so much, Chris Light, for the subby. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, I asked Doug <laughs> if he would take you in pictures with me, but he said, no, I don't want to. And so I, I didn't force him. I don't want to be perceived. That's fine. I just think having people actually wearing it is so helpful. Yeah. And we can't hire people for that. So so I was the alternative. Make a, make Kuma wear it. That would oh. be really cute, actually. Kuma is one of our cats. Yeah. He he's looks so sleepy right now. He's up there. You see his face. He's black and white. Little oh, boy. Little so soft good. boy. Are we planning on designing more apparel for the shop? We are. In yes. fact, we have some that is in waiting. And you know how I said we couldn't afford to hire models? Well, Doig's sister works with models all the time. And she's cutting as a deal. And we're going to have actual photos of people who aren't as wearing it. It'll be really special and amazing. Unfortunately, Doig's family has had a bit of a year. Yeah. So we were planning for that to happen in like April. But a lot of stuff has happened uh, with Doig and his family. That has meant that they have had to like drop a lot of plans and like react to things very quickly. And so his sister has not had time yet to do it. Yeah. Which is totally fair. It's totally understandable. Yeah. We, we will be wearing, um, I'll certainly be wearing merch that's not available in the store at Annecy because I want to have a little <laughs> if you logo. you want a preview of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, in fact, the what, stuff you're wearing, we've changed. So. Oh. <laughs> I'll be wearing well. my Scrungle shirt. So, but only his pajamas, so you won't get to see that. Ha ha! Are you? No, you gotta wear that out. But they're so nice as pajamas. You can still wear them as pajamas later. We got some cool sweaters though. We got some adventure sweaters. We got some scrungly t-shirts. Uh, we got some mugs that celebrate Halloween. That's 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 it. We got some more stuff coming. Yeah. But we want to get photos of it first. You good? I got an itchy nose. Scratch it. <laughs> I can hear you scratching it from here. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Maldrum's dropped in the, the place you can get pronouns. Thank you very much. Bring an umbrella. Yeah, the forecast looks a little bit rainy, right? I think I might I try. I had an anorak. I might bring like the small umbrella. That folds down into my bag or something. I'm gonna lose it, dog. I'm gonna leave it so hard somewhere. Well, I'll take care of it then. We better bring like five because I'm gonna leave them all over Annecy. I'm sure they sell umbrellas in Annecy. I'm sure they do too, but still. Whoa! Hey, thank you so much. Love when I see you. Thank you. Thanks for the really nice message. That's it came so up kind. in a, a notification. Came both of our devices. Yeah. I've got the fourth wall app installed now too, so I can see things on my iPad and I can see things on his phone. Can, how do I full screen this? I just want to full screen that we're going to Annecy. How do I do that? View. That's really kind of you, Love Win. Thank you. Full screen mode. That well, looks that, good. That didn't work. That looks good. I don't know how to bring that back. That's like some kind of eldritch symbol or something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is um, my desktop. It's so clean. I can't. I can't bring it back. Oh no! You've destroyed everything. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> How? We, what? You meant to be good with computers. Can you hide Fix my screen? It. Can Fix you hide hide my screen? One sec. Yes. That's the um. 
the the type of laptop it is. This logo. Sonic Three Faster Light, you got it. It's also some of the menu music from Sonic Jam. I love it so much. It has actually disappeared. Incredible. Wow. Incredible. Such an expensive laptop. Does so good. <laughs> it's not the laptop, it's the software, dude. Oh. I, I said full screen mode and it was like, no. I don't know how to do that when you have two screens. What a fool. Did it I mean, move to another screen, says Moldrum? I think maybe. I'm going to just duplicate the displays to bring it back. Keep Strictly Ball says, isn't it also remakes from Sonic Generations? I don't remember. But if it is, they chose a good one. This is one of my favorite tracks. It's so good. La, 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 la. It just gives me warm feelings. Eki says, I can proudly say I use my PC for development every single day, but I have no idea why computer, computer. <laughs> Mood. Oh, Tractor Lover says, found you guys on TikTok and thought you both were really cute, so I thought I'd pop in and say hi. Hello, hello, welcome. Thank you very much for coming over from TikTok. Tractor Lover, eh? What's that song? She loves my tractor. <laughs> she thinks she, my tractor's sexy. She totally gets me. She thinks my tractor's sexy. She totally gets me. She thinks my tractor's sexy. Strictly Full Gaming says, call me old fashioned, but I don't know how electricity works and fire scares me. <laughs> you should be scared of fire. Okay, it's dangerous. you can share my screen again. All right, we're back. A. Hey. There we go. It's good, right? There we go. Jester says, I also found you guys from TikTok. We really need to make a redeem where everyone can be like, I'm from TikTok. Do you want me to make that now? Sure. What do you want it to do? Throw in a clock. Throw in a clock. No. Chat, help me. What do you think would be cool to happen if we had a I'm from TikTok redeem? And the sky, the sky is just so blue. So Can you feel blue. the sun shine too? Oh. It's coming through. It makes me feel brand new. Can you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? Don't you feel that sometimes you just need to run away? It just plays the words TikTok from the old Kesha song. <laughs> Wait, what's that one? Um, TikTok, 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 TikTok. Do, 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 do. Something, think... something, something. That's Gwen Stefani. <laughs> I don't think we'd be allowed to use that. Yeah. Oh. Hey, look, I'm like, I'm like the little drawing of me. Uh. Mm. Tractor Love says anyone that claims to understand how computers work is a liar. We squashed down rocks, hit them with lightning, and now we trick them into thinking. It's clearly magic. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It really is. Like we're talking to you from our like one of our bedrooms, essentially, right now. Mm -hmm. Crazy. It is crazy. Crazy cool. I think I saw someone mention that they did sprites earlier, but I didn't I didn't catch it at the time. Um was that shared in here or anything? I'll have a look. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we should do for people coming in from TikTok. What What would you guys like? I don't what know. What do you think would be either. fun to happen in the overlay? Bum, to bum. another day when the clouds go <laughs> away. What if it? What if we make like a little graph Can and it just it? makes the graph go up? <laughs> Can you feel it? Oh! oh. <laughs> Throw in a skibidi toilet. Don't don't do What's it. What's a skibidi? No! <laughs> <laughs> don't ask. Don't ask. 
Don't. What? Don't take advantage of him, <laughs> Pim. He's too old. Don't what? take advantage of him. <laughs> Leave him alone. He's old. He doesn't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> God damn it. All right. Fine. If someone wants to show Doig what a skeeby DB toilet is, then they can. <laughs> what is you talking Don't about? Don't worry about it. It's stupid. <laughs> and it's we're not doing it, okay? Okay. <laughs> is it's it a meme for kids? Is it like a scat song or something? It's not a scat song. It's wow. re it's real stupid. You could just you just type it into YouTube if you want to. I am to know, too old. Like I don't know this one. I don't know this, this one at all. <laughs> Swifty BD <beady> toilet. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, trying to guess. You're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get it. There, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know I, about I, this? I, now. How do you know I've about seen this? It. How do you know about this? I've seen it on the internet, Doig. You don't know my part. I can do. I can do this. Stop that! Are. Stop that! No! Stop it! It won't stop. Stop it! I can't stop. <laughs> no! No! God! <laughs> God! It's so cursed. Gary's mod is still going strong. You know what? Good for Gary's mod. India. Yeah. Ah, oh, I'd let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Good. It's one with the wind and sky now. Oh, no! <laughs> Explode! <laughs> yeah! Oh! Oh, wow, well, yeah. I'm still winning. It's fine. You wish you had enough for worm. Oh, I'm sorry. Also, how do you not have enough for a worm? You must have spent all your, all your money on worm already. <laughs> You must be stopped. Oh, so you're here every day. It's tanky each time, dog. Yeah, exactly. And how many worms do you think she redeems every day? Right? Do 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 do. You've got no to impulse control. <laughs> to make it what you feel. How many worms have you, you thrown in even just today? Real. Are you just throwing them in every ten minutes? I have a one. Work it out, work it out, talk about it. You want work it out, work it out, you think ahead. Oh, no. Work it out. I keep trying to keep the cats alive. Sorry, Kaz. You've got to make it real. You've got to make it real. You've got to make it real. Wow, those are some bigger bamboos. Ow! Open! Well, he's Doig is. Oh, Doig is playing with Kuma and Kuma's rolling all over. Also, I gotta tell you what Doig's wearing right now because it's really funny. No. <laughs> it's really funny. We found some pajama pants for Doig, um, but I guess they're pretty old and we didn't realize how old they were. And Doig put them on and they're like really cute. They're like soft, long, uh, gray checkered pants. And we were like, oh, these are so cute. Awesome. I, I can't believe we haven't been wearing these. Because like, they must have just been buried in the closet for years or something and we just forgot that they existed there. Oh, my face track is gone, sorry. But yeah, you put them on and like two seconds later they ripped like right up the leg. So he's still wearing them right now and he has like one of those like really stylish, like sexy slashes up the leg that like femme fatales have when they wear dresses. Except it's a pajama pant. It's really funny. I keep forgetting about it. And then I'll walk around and one side is just still a pant leg and it's fine. And then it'll turn to the other side and it's just like ripped from the ankle, like right up to the thigh. It's amazing. Oh, hit man. I just tried That's to it. sit cross-legged, you guys, and I tore out of it like. It's too muscly. Like, like you're saying you're too built. <laughs> I mean, that was a joke I said to you in confidence. Too built. <laughs> Doig unleashed. Can't contain his power. Yeah, I literally just tried to sit cross-legged and it was like... It's a real shame though, because those pants were nice. But I guess, I guess they also are quite old and maybe not all that well made. 
I don't know. I don't know if they're that old. I feel like we got them like more than two years ago. And you haven't worn them. Yeah. So. I was too fat for them before. I feel like we got <laughs> I've them. I've made room. I feel like we got them in Ireland and then never, you never wore them. Yeah, maybe. I think they were tight when we got them and I was like, oh. Damn it. And now they're not, but they're still, <laughs> For they different, couldn't handle you. Different reasons. <laughs> Lean into it. Do a corset stitch up the rip. Oh, that'd be good. Put some ribbon in there. I will say it's, it, they're breathable now. Yeah, that's true. Look yeah. on the bright side. Oh, no. It's the hip, hip man. Hip marrow beaver. <laughs> The amount of drawfy references I just didn't get before. But now you do. <laughs> sort of. In big now part. you know all about the Mero Bieber and the it, O Hitmans. Yeah, I know about those two. In big part because of Love Love Six Edit. I, I learned more about and Drawfy <laughs> in that edit than I'd ever knew before. And Todd from Mario. I was like watching that going, wait, they had a set? What? <laughs> Yeah, I haven't watched any of those though. So it's always strange when it harkens back to that time because it's so different. Yeah, Mero Bieber is so funny. And Bobby Hill. That Julia keeps drawing. Also says draw for variety our rules. I never watched oh, any of it. The Bobby Hill part where they're trying to guess who <laughs> Julia is drawing. <laughs> Yeah. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, also on a technical level, if you guys want to know how much of our puppeting is face tracking and how much isn't, now is a great chance for you to see how much I do with the controller because the face tracking is off. <laughs> yeah. So this is this is me just using a controller now. So this is my head. And this is my controller. Also, some great drawfy news has dropped. Oh? Yeah, I noticed the other day. Uh, something I was recommended on my YouTube was a uh, a recap of Draw Detective Season 1 and 2, which says to me that they're gearing up to drop Detectives Draw Detective Season 3. Ooh. Like, that's what that says to me. They've dropped a recap for Seasons 1 and 2 that says mm. to me that maybe Draw Detective 3 is coming. Wait, I gotta watch those. Yeah, I think, you do. I think they'll watch those after June, though. They're very digestible, Doig. They're like half an hour each. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Season three leaked. I Trophy do, talk. I do have a flame, Jeanette. Hello. Yeah, they're very fun, <laughs> the draw detectives. And you can you can find the origin of Piss Boy. I don't know if I want to you find do. the origin of Piss Boy. Wait, on selects them, so it has to be good, clean it's fun. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it is good, clean fun. Well, I mean, as clean as you can get with something like Piss Boy. <laughs> We're going to Annecy. The, the laptop keeps trying to stop telling you about it. We're going to Annecy, and right now, we're going to go and pack for Annecy. So we have to leave. We've been going two and a half hours. Oh, it's for nearly, serious? Yeah, it's nearly Daytona time. It's one minute to Daytona. That's true. Which is when we feed our cats, for those who don't know. We have to feed them with a Daytona soundtrack going because we've trained them to recognize it as feeding time. Yeah. They're a good boy. Good boy and good girl. Turn your damn screensaver off, but we love it. We love the beams of light. They're no, calming I, to us. I souls. gotta keep it on so the laptop screen doesn't get <laughs> burned in the same image. But yeah, I guess we'll find someone to raid. Let me see who's who's about. Who's on right now? They're making a cool, like, find a raid thing. Um, find someone to raid feature on Twitch, I saw. Oh, yeah? Don't think it's active yet, but yeah. Oh, yo! Uh, Space Pirate is is streaming. Didn't we raid... Did we raid Space Pirate yesterday? I think we did raid them pretty recently, right? There's Beaks, the Space Pirate, Spatula, Orangey Kun, Blue Pino. Uh, we got... Do, do. I'm looking for other people I recognize. Lumi. <laughs> um, Hello Comics. Um, Orangey Kun might be awesome. Let's go raid Orangey Kun. Yeah. Be like, Rata. are you going to Annecy? <laughs> are you going to Annecy, Orangey Kun? 
let's see, slash raid uh, Orenji Kun. Orenji Kun. And then is it R afterwards? Uh, I feel like that's it, right? I think it's already set up. Is it? Yeah. Oh, you were so fast. I didn't do it. So much faster than me. I didn't do it. So fast. Yeah, everyone have a great time at Orenji Kun's place. Do you want to tell them a little bit about Orenji Kun so that they know who they're going to? Uh, they're a really cool illustrator slash background artist. They've worked on various Flying Bark um, productions, I believe, and they are um, got really good art advice on their Instagram. Uh, they, they do some cool stuff about how they think about making um, really great background illustrations. I saw one recently where they were describing what fisheye lens was and how to draw it. So very, very cool and very chill cam vibes. Um, they've got a kind of cool camming presence and really informative. So I hope you have a great time there. Yeah, everyone have a fantastic time hanging out with Renji Kun. And until next time, may the rest of your day be filled with adventure. adventure. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Kuma. Right on cue, little man. Real scheduled little When guy. he needed food most, he was right on time. Right on time. All right, everyone. Thank you, Vodders. Have a great day. And we'll catch you later. Bye. Bye. -bye.